Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, welcome, welcome back, welcome back to the stream, uh, second stream for today, <laughs> how crazy is that, um, yeah, um, welcome back, we are finally gonna play some Gunfire Reborn now, like, uh, if you guys were there, a few hours ago, I already did another stream today, uh, like at, uh, actually I have no idea about the time, <laughs> but yeah, a few hours ago, like I don't know, uh, six hours ago, uh, probably, um, and we took a look at, uh, yeah, well, the new Gunfire Reborn DLC that came out today, and we just pretty much spent like uh, approximately three hours going through or well actually like uh like uh we took like three hours yeah but uh we only spent like two on uh, two of those on gunfire i think before that we checked out the deep rock galactic season four trailer but yeah uh, basically we spent the entire stream just going through patch notes and uh looking at what the dlc has in store uh instead of actually playing but i mean in the end uh it worked out pretty well because i had a lecture uh, right after and I would have hated to uh, end a run like just in the middle because I wasn't able to finish it and uh, yeah I don't I don't like uh, streaming under like these kind of time constraints so I don't know worked out pretty well in the end but now we finally have some time to actually look at uh, the cool new stuff and there's lots of cool new stuff so uh, I am pretty excited I would say um, is there anything else I still gotta say not really um, yeah I would say uh, da -da 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 -da. we do this uh, I do this hi what's up there I am um, <clears throat> and we pretty much just get right into it I would say yeah 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 uh, yeah, I'm thinking of like, do I have anything that uh, that still came to my mind? Have I have I made any notes? No, I think we can actually like s just start right away. Holy shit, that's so crazy. <laughs> um, we do this and we just start the game. Let's fucking go. Yeah, the cool new uh, feature art, which I which I also like, which uh, when I started the game a few hours ago, which I already said was looking really cool. Pretty cool art, honestly. I think this is like one of the, one of the, if not the first artwork that actually um, shows off uh, multiple characters because so far, uh, Every uh, one of these feature arts, uh, especially one, uh, especially the ones that were used as like the game's loading screens, um, every single one of those uh, has pretty much always only um, depicted a single character. So um, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool to finally have a like definitive artwork, so to speak. Um, also, I definitely just have uh, music to zero, yeah, for some reason. I don't know why, I don't know when I did that, but um, yeah, sure. Um, not sure about the face cam position, by the way. Um, oh yeah, really cool, by the way, that, um, like, I think, the, yeah, yeah, up here. There's the, the old DLC, I didn't like pay attention to it, but yeah, up here there's the old DLC, like uh, the, basically a button uh, right to the, um, yeah, the first DLC, and here's a button to uh, right to the new one, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, uh, not sure about the face cam position, uh, but I'm sure we can figure something out. Um, yeah, if you weren't here a few hours ago in the first stream when we went through the patch notes, um, there's basically, uh, there's two new characters, um, 
this uh, this owl guy and this uh, red panda girl. Um, both have their uh, new gimmicks, obviously. Uh, the owl, basically, as far as I understood, basically the owl uh, like collects cards, and depending on how good those cards are, uh, deals more damage and shit. And like you can use the cards for uh, both your ult and also for your uh, like uh, grenade slot, like secondary ability. Like I'm not too sure yet how that exactly works, but I'm sure we're gonna find out. Uh, also, the owl can just fucking straight up re-roll um, scrolls in the inventory, which is actually kind of important uh, because uh, the scrolls can also be upgraded that way. And um, the quality of the cards that you find, which uh, again like determines how uh, good uh, these two abilities are apparently, uh, the quality um, of the cards that you pick up uh, is dependent uh, on the ratio, like the, or rather uh, the chance for the different qualities um, is dependent on uh, the quality and the ratios between them uh, of the scrolls that you have in your inventory. Um, and the uh, owl uh, also has, as you can see over here, uh, also has an, uh, a talent with which you can just straight up upgrade the scrolls in, in, in your inventory without them like changing effect, uh, just so that they are a higher rarity for this thing specifically. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And the uh, red panda girl basically just, um, uh, yeah, has a has a mech body apparently, uh, who fights alongside her. That's pretty much it. Um, a, a bit more nuance to it, obviously, but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna start off with uh, the owl because I'm very interested in that actually. Uh, I think, as uh, yeah, also uh, there's four new weapons, but we're gonna see those as well sooner or later, I think. And a f uh, quite a few uh, new occult scrolls too, but those aren't uh, part of the DLC. Those just were part of a free update that came alongside the DLC, which is just based. Um, yeah, uh, we are gonna play on a reincarnation three, maybe. I could maybe go lower if it's too hard. Um, Maybe, uh, but I think like three incarnation, reincarnation three, four uh, seems pretty uh, comfortable to me. Like I'm a bit rusty probably, so I don't know. I will probably get absolutely stomped by the game. But yeah, I think we're gonna just go reincarnation three since I'm not familiar with the uh, with the character yet. Uh, we're gonna activate pretty much everything, I think. Yeah, Interdependent Fortunes to Transcendent Arsenal. Uh, probably not gonna do too much, but we're just gonna take a look at it, how it works, if it doesn't really do anything for us. Like, obviously, the uh, being able to deposit uh, crazy weapons for future runs uh, sounds really good, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, there's this. Okay, yeah, cool. Um... I know, I don't think it's gonna do too much for my playstyle, though, I, I think. Ascension Fusion uh, sounds really fun, though. Uh, and obviously we're gonna equip a Lone Wolf. I think, yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Like, Lo Lone Wolf is a really... Uh, like, probably my favorite uh, modifier, by the way. It's kind of sad that it's um, exclusive to single player. But, like, uh, it's basically... Um, What's the mod for Risk of Rain called? I think it's called Multiples or something. Uh, but yeah, it's like uh, in the game and shit, and it's uh, pretty cool. And like, uh, obviously it makes the game more difficult because it makes the game as difficult as it would be with two players, or you can even go higher. Um, but you get to start with a free spiritual, uh, spiritual blessing, which I think also is in addition to the three that you can still pick up. Um, which is just really strong, especially if you take fake death, because fake death is just really good. As you can see, uh, it basically gives you an extra life every 45 seconds, which is just crazy good, especially if you don't have a teammate to revive you. Uh, enables you to make way more mistakes. Um, so yeah, I think that's, uh, that is what we're going with for now. 
let's just see how it goes. I think the webcam position should probably be uh, pretty fine, but uh, we're gonna see. Didn't they say they optimized the game? Why? Why did? Uh, why is the performance so much worse? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Down there we can see our old, obviously, and we have. Uh, I assume the bar down there is just displaying the ratios of like how common certain types of cards uh, are going to be. I assume that that's uh, what that uh, means, probably. And below that uh, is probably where the cards are gonna go. Can you not like? Um, how do you, yeah, you can like write. Okay, yeah. Like down here is I think where the cards uh, are gonna go. Um, and yeah, this bar, uh, bar is what I was talking about. Then we obviously have uh, the um, this thing. Yeah, I think we're gonna see everything in time. Yeah, true. We also have this one, which just uh, uh, is gonna make us ramp up. Yeah, let's let's see what we're working with here. Um, Ultimate Gambler is pretty good. Copycat is pretty good. Um, field proficiency is really good. Like for all of those are somewhat good. I would probably want a uh, ultimate firearm though to start off with. That is usually um, a really useful thing to start off with. I think I'm gonna fish for ultimate firearm or like uh, however it was called. Yeah, I'm not really interested in those. Not really interested in those. This is like functional deck, which is pretty good. But yeah. There it is. Yeah. Ultimate Firearm is just really good uh, to have uh, from the very beginning. I don't even really know what um, what the owl wants, like in terms of like what weapons you want. Having like three pretty much single shot weapons is obviously, a, wow, the illusion of choice. <laughs> Um, I know I think maybe the piercing flame is best here like I have a feeling that the owl is probably gonna be best with like um, um, uh, Dude the performance dude what the hell The performance is tanking for some reason Is it because I'm streaming the game I mean I guess I haven't done that in a long time Also, I'm just straight up missing on my own. Dude, can I fucking hit this guy? He died of fire, I guess. <laughs> he died of shame. <laughs> of my shame. Give me some ammo. Okay, so, okay, so the bar has changed, though. So maybe it actually, like, depends on... Wait, no, I, I don't have scrolls yet though, do I? Yeah, no, I don't have scrolls yet. So... Okay, that is... Ah, okay, so I can't even... Okay, that is interesting. I thought I could... Um... Okay, that's interesting. I thought I could just... Um... Uh, target... Uh, I, I thought I could target the certain scrolls to reroll them, but I guess uh, okay. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I gotta still find out how how every uh, how everything works in detail. But yeah, the bar down there has changed, which makes me think that it is maybe not what I initially thought it to be. I he, help me. No, I'm gonna just die here. Well, actually, I'm not gonna die here because I have fake death, but like... Dude, I'm so fucking rusty. I am so incredibly rusty. Didn't even look at the demon law, I just knew that it would work better than whatever I had before that. Okay. 
I should like I don't know sh because I really wanna uh, use my um, uh, my cards and shit more and whatever my cards and my old um, but I also feel like I like it seems like I should like wait what what am I doing here <laughs> it feels like I should wait until what am I doing dude until I have like uh, I actually have like cards to like power this shit up okay but like you you get cards for using for using your um, grenade though so okay did I just uh, misunderstand then because like uh, I thought you got like cards uh, through other means but okay I, f I thought you got like uh, you picked up cards like um, at random and whatever and like obviously there's also like the one spiritual jade it was I think that made you get cards for like um, hitting a bunch of times um, but um, it seems like uh, abnormal speed is pretty pretty damn good uh, it seems like um, uh, you are just supposed to spin the cards open by using the grenade. That makes a lot more sense. Unless I juked myself and fucking double misunderstood everything. Um, I <laughs> but I'm so good. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> the fact that I'm still alive is uh, actually crazy. Like the way I'm playing, I should have definitely died already. Like I guess technically I died once, but okay. Uh, I have not taken a look at the uh, ascensions yet, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, plus whatever chance base card damage according to Astra aspects obtained. Okay, so okay. Wild Astra aspects uh, grant a random bonus if legendary Astra aspects are obtained through Astro forecast. Summon cards deal elemental damage. Okay. So basically, just uh, the better cards I get, the more damage I deal, pretty much. Uh, when the probability of impure Astro House is 100%. Fill all empty slots and clear the Astro House. Uh, cool down two seconds. After clearing the Astro House, there's a chance to gain plus 20% uh, percent weapon and skill damage from each slot for 8 seconds. I don't fully understand it, but I guess it's just like a, a, a reroll, basically. Like if the game sees that uh, all the cards you're getting uh, are gonna be shit, then it like resets it for you uh, or something. And. Uh, you have a chance to even get a damage bonus. That's like how I understand it. And uh, minus 30% cooldown when clearing an uh, impure astro house. Otherwise, uh, minus 20% cooldown. Cooldown on what? <laughs> uh, I, I assume on the on the old. I think the astro house is specifically for the old. I gotta read through my abilities again. I forgot everything from like two hours ago. Um, I can, yeah, yeah, I can uh, go to the inventory real quick. Right, so, um, yeah, Astros with this. Uh, gain Astros through obtaining Astro Aspects randomly until slots are full, uh, causing stars to fall and deal damage to enemies within certain, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just basically, um, uh, they deal more damage uh, if you are, uh, yeah. If you have like uh, same cards and shit, yeah, yeah. And that, there's the tiers, but yeah, obviously. And yeah, uh, here you obtain astro, astro aspects randomly and summon three cards for uh, for protection. Cards can track enemies within. Yeah. Okay. Interesting, by the way. Okay, so first of all, uh, so the primary method of obtaining cards or Astra Aspects as they are called um, is with uh, the secondary skill. Um, 
And there's probably like other methods uh, of getting cards as well, though, which is why like um, the one ability was like so specifically worded. Um, and second of all, uh, what I didn't even release uh, uh, realize um, earlier is that uh, cursed, uh, cursed scrolls uh, give you the chance to get uh, wild cards. Uh, which actually makes it a pretty interesting strategy uh, strategy strategy god damn it uh, to get uh, to get curse scrolls on this guy anyways um yeah i guess i'm going to take this one then it just seems like nice utility i don't really know what uh what do you really want to get with this guy yet i guess we're going to find out um, like, okay, we're, we're just gonna, like, I don't know, do this. Okay, uh, uh, okay, they need to, they probably need to have an enemy, though, in order to shoot. Okay, I didn't know that. And I probably only get the, only get the card once I, once I actually hit some, something with it. Like, you now, now go. I didn't get get every anything there. Now I got something. I I don't fully get it. I still don't really get it. Okay, so they home in, but they also don't, and they uh, like I don't know. I just missed with the cards. But if they don't like fully home in, then why can't I shoot them when there aren't enemies nearby? I I don't get it honestly. I'm just I'm just uh, confused. But like I, I'm sure I'm gonna uh, understand it soon. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so basically, uh, it seems like once I draw the um, violet card. Yeah, it just auto resets it for me because uh, I only have like uh, it seems I like I only have like one of the purple cards in the pool or something. If I understand the bar correctly, um, like I only have one rare in the pool. So basically, once uh, once I draw it, the game just also auto resets for me uh, because I can't get a. Um, like Astro House or whatever it was called anymore. Like, uh, I'm just gonna call it a flush. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't get one anymore, so it just auto resets it for me. So basically, now I can't even I can't even get um, impure Astro Houses anymore, and I need to draw until I um, get the three uh, commons, I guess. Like, I'm sure that. Um, I'm sure that the, um, oh god. I shouldn't stand inside the fucking uh, corruption things. Please just die. Can you please die? Thank you. Um, god damn it. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, nah, th I, this run was hell of scuffed. I'm, I'm gonna restart. I didn't understand shit. This, this felt hell of scuffed. Um, uh, I need to like... I need to uh, get a fresh start there. Also, like, maybe I shouldn't play with uh, Lone Wolf, but Fake Death is just so good that it's... I th feel like it's really worth uh, getting the more difficult game in exchange, but I think I'm gonna deactivate it for now, because I'm... Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm very confused by just everything, so, like, having less... <laughs> Having less stuff going on is probably going to be of uh, quite a lot of help. Still gonna stick with the Reincarnation 3 though. Okay, give me ju just give me fake death here. <laughs> uh, overconsumption is pretty interesting this early on like actually pretty good um
Uh, Battle Scout is also pretty good, but I don't even know if we're gonna play around uh, HP on this character yet. Uh, I think I want to go for Painkiller is also really good though, <laughs> but Ultimate Firearm though. Like Painkiller is really really good though, but we don't really run an elemental thing though. I, I think Ultimate Firearm again. Uh, very good. Like pretty much, you only want Ultimate Firearm or um, or uh, Fake Death. <laughs> From the very first one, I'm pretty sure. Unless, like, there's uh, some character-specific uh, spiritual blessing that is even better. Okay. Uh, take the card weapon. <laughs> uh, total weapon damage for whenever triggering elemental effect. Yeah, that's, that seems pretty good. Mm. That's a pretty good woodpecker. Uh... Pretty good woodpecker inscription. I really like talisman, but like this is a pretty solid woodpecker. And I don't just want to resort to not having to aim right away. Like I at least want to have some uh, uh, something about the game tell me that I should actually play the game. Uh, what is this? I stole the projector for an I'm pretty good, pretty good bone dragon. Pretty good bone dragon. Does it also have? Because it says lucky bone dragon, but I guess that just comes from this. Probably. It doesn't seem to be uh, one of the like enhanced modifiers. I didn't notice that. I feel like I feel so stupid because I I feel like that's new with like um. If, uh, like, I feel like uh, before when something, like, um, changed the name of a weapon, it uh, was only because of, like, the enhanced modifier. Like, if that was just the case for normal, uh, uh, for normal inscriptions before, then I just must have never noticed, but I feel like, I feel like that's new. Bone Dragon is gonna make it pretty easy here early on uh, with like crowd control and whatever. Definitely much easier to play with than uh, the Demon Lore and uh, Piercing Flame that we had earlier. Definitely much easier. Um, yeah, sure. Sure. Pretty sad about the abnormal speed uh, in the run before that, obviously. Like, the abnormal speed was pretty good. But I think we're gonna be fine. It was only one scroll. And before the seat was absolutely broken. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, now. What else do you have? Uh, when consuming the last ammo in the magazine, clear one random astro aspect and the shot causes enemies to take plus 20% damage. That's interesting. There's a chance to obtain two times as many astro aspects through astro forecasts. That's pretty good. Because, like, I want um, to get them faster, I think. Uh, deal extra 500 damage to the enemy with uh, with the highest HP within the area of Falling Star for every hit caused by Falling Star. That's pretty interesting. I like this though. I hate how it says um, there's a chance <laughs> and just doesn't tell me how high that chance is, but like I guess we're gonna find out. I think that's all on this map, I guess. I mean, we already did the vault, so much else there could be like obviously there could have been like a peddler or even a phantom peddler but I think I would have noticed that if there was one okay got the got the funny beetle vault again this time we actually have uh, like crowd control and don't have to awkwardly use our cards to deal with uh, deal with everything. Yeah, 
that went pretty smoothly. Bone Dragon is just such a comfortable weapon for the early game. Like, it kind of falls off towards the end game, I would say, but uh, very comfortable. Um, pff, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't mind. I guess it can help me in a pinch. Never gonna actively use it, though, I imagine. Also, I gotta say, uh, like a thing I um, a thing I noticed before in the in the run before is that um, we're really not getting lucky with uh, weapon drops. Like I feel like uh, usually at this point I get like at least two weapon drops or something for like at least some sort of choice. But in this run, uh, yeah, I've only got the bone dragon so far. Where are you? Down here? Or what? No, you must, have, you must be in the, like, in the next room. Yeah. How couldn't I see you? Okay, sure. should maybe stop hitting the wall <laughs> that would probably be quite helpful okay. bone drain just makes this so easy though uh, nimble frenzy shark like what does nimble mean in this case yeah reduce reload time it says it on the left there but like it just it just does that isn't that like something that enhanced weapons are supposed to like in, th in this case it's not even related to an inscription it's just it's just there for some reason i don't know i'm 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 confused uh this is a pretty okay frenzy chart though like huh. the exclusive inscription um i think at least you you call that exclusive um yeah, instead of, instead of legendary, I think they call them exclusive inscriptions. Uh, doesn't really do too much since we don't really use uh, elementary uh, elemental weapons. Um, but I gotta say the um, yeah yeah, and I can just put this in my uh, weapon backup thing now, which is also really cool. They're down here now. That's like pretty cool, I guess. Um. Lost my sentence. Whatever. <laughs> Endless stardom. If the Astro House for Falling Star is the same as last time, plus 45% uh, for every slot. Recover 5 shield for every Astro aspect obtained. That sounds pretty okay. Or the more damage, uh, the better cards I get, I guess. I don't know, I'm gonna try out this. Like, as much as I enjoy the gambling and shit, I'm really curious. Because, um, like, I don't know. Um, it feels like a lot of uh, the things on this character are dependent on um, the cards you draw. So um, it feels like if you just get super duper unlucky, you literally can't do anything. I don't know. Which is like, again, I, I usually like. These kind of uh, I usually like these kind of gambling mechanics. Obviously, there's a peddler and there's a vault. I actually almost miss missed both. Uh, lightning shard is, yeah, I would say lightning shard is just worth it by itself. Uh, those weapons are radioactive content. I don't need to worry about weapons uh, for now. I think because like weapons only really start getting good after the first boss, anyways. Oh damn, I kind of have a feeling that I won't be able to do this, but uh, I guess we can at least try. Um, but yeah, uh, like as much as I enjoy these kind of gambling, uh, gambling mechanics, uh, like I mentioned earlier, dude, this guy is not taking damage. Ok, 
Can you like not blow up the, the thing, the cube? Uh, yeah, as much as I uh, usually enjoy these gambling mechanics, um, also what is still very important in um, roguelikes usually is like consistency and shit, right? Um, so if a whole character is just a whole character is gambling related, I don't know. Uh, feels kind of uh, scary, but I guess uh, maybe. At the end of the in the end of a normal run he's gonna become really broken. Can I like I don't know hit the get uh, hit the enemies that I wanna hit? And also can you like stop destroying the fucking thing? I think that's the last one though, hopefully. Probably wouldn't have been able to do this uh, if I was running Lone Wolf, because that is really like that is uh, I I have had a lot of trouble with uh, this kind of alt recently, which is mostly because I was always running Lone Wolf, and um, yeah, Lone Wolf makes this much much more unbalanced. Obviously, uh, I think I I think I'm gonna go good and evil here. Yeah, which is uh, by the way I I said earlier about something about mystic mirror but i was thinking about good and evil uh yeah yeah i know the other ones aren't really that interesting to begin with and good and evil is like pretty solid scroll mm, yeah Should probably uh, actually use my uh, character stuff. Otherwise, uh, obviously, I'm just gonna complain about uh, how this feels incredibly boring. Chest here. Um, luxurious gift box for one scroll. The plus two and the. Yeah, no, those don't really do much before the first boss because, again, uh, you don't really get weapons you wanna keep until after the first boss. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna give him uh, overdraft, I think, capacity overdraft, because, like, I'm not really gonna actively use that anyways. Um, yeah, I mean, until death uh, pretty much, much better in that regard. Obviously, uh, I mean, I'd, I'm not really, like, considering, um, uh, the, um, synergy stuff, I think. Uh, I think that uh, capacity overdraft could have probably been very important for like a certain synergy there, but I think we'll be fine, hopefully. If anything, I'm pretty sure that Untold Effort is uh, part of the same synergies. Okay, uh, double caliber. Mm. Mm. It's okay, but I don't really want it anyways. Uh, plus 250% base damage of the alt is pretty useful. Uh, plus 10% weapon damage for every slot. Um, <laughs> weapon damage uh, for every... <laughs> That's just gonna random bonus. So basically, I get weapon damage for um. Yeah, I just get free damage for everything through this, pretty much. Okay. Next shield for every slot when taking damage. There's a chance to be immune to it every twelve seconds. That seems really good. Like I wonder how high the chance is, but hmm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just take this, I think. And also, um, how does this work now? Yeah, because, like, we got a few, like, uh, okay, we only got resets, not upgrade tries. 
But we can like completely reset stuff if we want to. Okay. Uh, I w uh, from those I would only want to upgrade stuff though. Like I guess I could maybe re uh, reset the lightning shard. But the lightning shard itself is pretty useful. Ah fuck it. Fuck it we wall. Blazing hoop. Hell yeah. That's really really good. And this just denotes that it has already, uh, already been re-rolled. Okay, yeah. But yeah, with the, um, with the ascension that we just picked up, we should also definitely um, use all our upgrade stuff. Like, obviously we should do that already. Um, also, the ult is auto-aim, uh, auto it seems. Uh, which is pretty uh, convenient. Uh, but yeah, um, if we just basically upgrade our weapons, we're gonna get free damage for that now. Uh, not upgrade our weapons, upgrade our scrolls. Uh, fierce laser gloves. Increase total uh, weapon damage by 15%. Did they like rework? Let me like. Uh, did they like rework ultimate firearm? Yeah, because like. It says, obviously, yeah, chance for enhanced. I mean, I guess this is an enhanced weapon. I guess, yeah, I mean, this is an enhanced weapon. And, like, the enhanced thing is fierce in this case. It just doesn't show the modifier anymore, though? Like, didn't it uh, show the modifier, like, uh, didn't it show, like, the modifier above the weapon icon before or something? What happened to that? I guess that's the reason for my confusion. But, I mean, yeah, this is, like, uh... That's a pretty good fire glove, but uh, a laser glove, but I don't really care. First guy to shoot, obviously, the Phantom Peddler. Who doesn't want to shoot a Phantom Peddler? Ah, fuck. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna use the revive now. Oh, yeah, true. I don't have fake death anymore. I was wondering, like, uh, I, I didn't really, like, pay too much attention uh, to not dying because I was thinking, yeah, surely my, uh, surely my, um, ooh, that is pretty good. Surely my fake death is off cooldown, but yeah, we don't have it, so. Uh, enhanced corrosion enthusiast, not really that interesting. Enhanced long shot. I mean, I guess I'm gonna take it. It's not bad, and it's basically free, so yeah. That's the new weapon, critical wolf gaze. Mm, wolf gaze, furries. Uh, yeah. Pretty good, probably, but uh, yeah. Not really too interested now. Uh, I think I'm just gonna look into this real quick. Uh, enhanced no retreats. No, no. Oh, it has a limited amount of rerolls. That is <laughs> interesting. Uh, brutal gloves. I mean, just plus fifty percent damage is pretty good, but there's much more broken enhanced scrolls. So, enhanced fire enthusiast. Um. Nah, nah, I don't really plan on playing on it. I don't want any fucking, yeah. Okay, this is, okay, this is, okay, I gotta take this though. But yeah, like, uh, I, I don't really, I probably won't really build an, an actual elemental build. What do we get? Only extra surprise. Like, it's, uh, it's an enhanced extra surprise, yeah, but, um, what does this mean, I wonder? What do the what do the icons on the bottom right mean? I'm con I'm I'm confused. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, pretty, still pretty good, obviously. What do these What do these icons mean? Like, does it say it somewhere here? I guess yeah. Like, those are the same icons next to the like Astro House quality stuff. But like, okay, those are those are like purple, and those are. Does it just like say that they count as a different 
type of um, like that they give you a different card into the pool than the rarity of the scroll would tell because like here um, here the golden one would be like uh, the, 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 the best one I guess and the blue one is the second best one yeah like rare and legendary Okay, how how does it actually like I'm still incredibly confused. Uh, so it's cleared. Oops, so filling slots with extra aspects. If extra aspects are the same, is it here? Um, then randomly according to initial chance and quality of occult scrolls. I don't get it. Like, does this like denote an override in terms of what quality they work for? Or like, is this upgrade strategy, is this like, does this like, okay, this probably like tells me what it tries to aim them towards then, I guess? Wait, what? I really don't get it. I re I really don't get it. Uh, what does this say? Okay, upgrade the quality of occult scrolls in your backpack without changing its effect. Yeah, no, I need to use my attempts though. Uh, it doesn't just like per uh, permanently upgrade them. I'm I'm very sure. Um, yeah, uh, did it do it without changing its effect or reroll the occult scroll to another one of equal or higher quality? Each occult scroll can only be upgraded or reset once. Start with one reset attempt uh, for each ascension obtained, gain two upgrade attempts and one reset attempt. Which, by the way, I got like uh, ascensions, but like. Did it like. I didn't get upgrade, or is it like. Does it like auto fire the upgrade once I collect a uh, ascension and then it just targets a, it at whatever I target with this and I and this just tells me how much I've upgraded and not but like it also says reset times here and that is definitely like uh, times I can still reroll stuff which which by the way I wonder if I reroll a um I'm gonna just reroll this for science do I get an enhanced scroll back that's something I need to know I Assume I do. Okay. And enhanced bluff is pretty good. Um, it's pretty okay. Uh, so, yeah. It, it, like, it doesn't seem like it should just auto-fire the uh, upgrade stuff, especially since they are all still at the uh, original rarity. But I picked up, like, three ascensions already and I didn't get upgrade attempts things so uh, I am confusion anyways uh, we have not done the vault yet I think oh it's this one oh well yeah no <laughs> ain't no way that I'm gonna be able to do that I'm just gonna like give up immediately like if I am lucky I can like kite them all towards here and then kill them like that but, um, if I ever have to, like, like all of the uh, stuff that I have deals, like, uh, has, like, pretty good amounts of, uh, like, crowd control. So, if I can't kite them all over here, I'm gonna be in trouble. Or I just kill the entire room, you know? Fuck it. I have incredible amounts of crowd control, so fucking just kill the entire room, why not? Like, honestly, it's not that big of a deal, it seems like. Oh god, stepped into one of the grenades though. Yeah. <laughs> Like, obviously, I didn't activate every single statue, but, like, just firing <laughs> did really work out, I guess. Uh, corrosion shard, pretty good. 
Uh, hidden treasure, pretty good. Uh, refresh addict is pretty okay. I think corrosion shard is probably gonna be the most useful thing here, though. Uh, I'm gonna look something up over here real quick. Uh, yeah, no, no, it should be fine. Um, I think corrosion shard is probably the best one here, though. Just for the protection. Like, we already have the lightning shard, unless I re-rolled it. Which I apparently did? Did I? What happened to the lightning shard? Did it, like, convert it into something else? Wait, what happened? No, I, like... Okay, I, I, I remember, like, I, um... No, I actually don't remember. Didn't I re-roll the, uh... Um... The, like, grenade scroll? I have no short-term memory. Like, I'm actually brain-dead, apparently. Like, I, I feel... I can, I can feel my brain not working. But I mean, so far, uh, luckily I'm able to play pretty brain dead. So it doesn't really matter too much. I should definitely do this more though. Oh god, I'm gonna die here. I need to like, not die to the longbowman. Come on, dude. Okay. God damn it, dude. I, I have been throwing this entire room. <laughs> I gotta say. Just very barely towards the end, I noticed I should maybe actually play the game. Hey, you got a craftsman here though, which is like pretty neat. Okay, what do you have? Uh, max shield for every slot. Uh, how do you even get more slots? Like, does it... I, did I fucking just... How, how did you even get more slots? Like, obviously I'm at three slots, I understand that much, but like... How do you even like... Cause I don't think this is it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that is it. It's just literally the fire rate of the cards once I fire them and shit. Oh, and uh, the wording uh, for this one in-game is actually much better. Uh, this, yeah, I mean, it practically is the, um, the same thing that I uh, said before. But yeah, basically, if you have an ascension at plus two, uh, it's going to be very likely to get it to plus three, which is nice. And yeah, how do you even get more slots? I assume it probably... I'm just gonna read through all of them because I assume it's just one uh, one ascension that I just, just didn't see so far. Uh, capacity of Astro Forecast, which is just like, yeah, uh, the reserve ammo you can take, not the slots in the Astro House. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This card holding capacity, some extra cards when using Astro Forecast. I mean, that sounds good, but that doesn't seem to be the slots. More damage for Falling Star, yeah, more damage. Uh, same as last time. Yeah, that is the thing I had earlier, which basically resets it for you. Increase the capacity of slots. Okay, Falling Star is an imp uh, impure Astro House. Place the lowest quality Astro Aspects with the wild Astro Aspects. That's very strong, damn. Is that the only way to increase the slots though? Because like so many uh, ascensions seem to refer to it. It seems to be very important then. Very important ascension apparently. Um, 
Yeah. This is also very uh, important. Like this is an alternate way of uh, getting the uh, getting the cards. This is gonna be pretty important. Uh, this one as well. I apparently just got pretty unlucky with the ascensions so far. It seems like. Uh, yeah, this in just increased damage. Um, this just increased damage as well. I think I'm gonna take this one this time though. Okay, so and again, uh, yeah, just don't get. Am I not supposed to get them every? Every time I get an ascension, did I misunderstand that or like? I'm very much confused. I'm very confused. Also do this. Guess we're done here though. At the boss, uh, I hope we can uh, actually manage. Okay. Okay. I give up. Okay. Um, these are, okay, what, what, what stuff can we get? Um, that is a very, very good ascension. Like, Victory Rush is a very good ascension. One of the most important ascensions on the bird. Uh, really good with shotguns. I don't really know what I want to go for yet, but if I want to go for shotguns, then this would be really good. Um, this is just, holy shit, this is just really good. Holy shit, yeah. Shifting stars is also really good. Damn, this is... That's such a cool modifier, actually. Uh, max shield and reduces damage. Shaken after killing an enemy. Up to five sh uh, stacks. Lose stacks when your shield breaks. Uh, it's, it's pretty good, but... Um, yeah, not too crazy. I'm immune to normal damage after taking a certain amount of damage. Uh, that's pretty, pretty good. Increase weapon damage when the amount of ammo left in the magazine reaches a, sp a specific level. Also pretty good. Um, that's also pretty good. But I think that Shifting Stars is going to be by far the best one here. Obviously, Victory Rush is uh, really, uh, really funny. But fucking Shifting Stars is... Uh, if I can get it to max, it will just be a free... Um, a free uh, 75... Lucky shot chance. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 I can actually choose multiple. Yeah, true. I can uh, choose two. Then I'm going to take these two, I would say. Because both are really good. I'm going to go for shotguns then. Like, obviously, uh, if I remember correctly, I don't get them immediately. I still have to, like, find them in the golden goblets and pick them up there. Um, but yeah, if I can go for them, that would be really good. Uh, what do you have? Enduring caster is like, eh. It's pretty good, but not, not too crazy. Thunderstream is nice. There's the brick. <laughs> it's literally just a brick. Like, it's slightly decorated, I guess, but it's literally just a brick. Brick is really funny. Hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy, I gotta be honest. I'm just gonna go with this and uh, be happy with it. Okay, um, if we are able to survive this fight, then after this, uh, a lot of things should uh, start to become really interesting. Should also uh, like use my cards in between and then use my uh, funny ult. Okay, we're gonna summon beetles. Oh god. Yeah, no, like, what? I just... <laughs> I'm not fast enough, dude. Okay, yeah, cool. great, awesome. Uh, but yeah, okay, I, I think... I think that now... Can can you please, like... Okay, thank you. I think that now I somewhat understand what I'm supposed to do. I really threw, uh, I gotta say, but, like, I, I really didn't have the tools for this guy, I gotta, I gotta be honest. 
Like, I could have dodged that maybe, but like, I don't know. Uh, I am gonna try with uh, Lone Wolf now again, with Fake Death. Now that I somewhat understand what my game plan is. Is there a reason for me to use Transcendent Arsenal? I don't really think there is. I don't really think there's, uh, so I'm just gonna disable it because I don't wanna think about it. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, the, the, the run really starts after the first boss, obviously, so it's kinda sad that I already lost it, but yeah, whatever. Uh, ultimate firearm immediately. Awesome. There's the funny jet octopus. Uh, chance to restore one unit of energy when any water column hits the weak point, that's pretty good. Argus is pretty good. Tiger Cannon is also... Damn. Damn. That's that, that funny inscription on the Tiger Cannon. That's really, really funny. I mean, I'm just gonna take it because, like, again, uh, weapons this early on don't really matter much yet. Um... The only really, um... They only really start to matter uh, after the first boss. Like, that is when the run really starts. Also, I, I really, I very badly need ammo, I feel like. This is such a good inscription, though, on the Tiger Cannon. Like, if I don't kill an enemy, I get a crazy damage boost on the next shot. And if I kill an enemy, I just get the ammo back. Always such a, uh, such a crazy inscription. Okay, what do you have then? Um, yeah, yeah, I really want this. I really want this. This is gonna be really useful. The other ones are nice too, but like this is just gonna make it so that I don't have to use grenades the entire time, which I guess is a thing that I should just be doing. Like, why would I not just be doing it? Um, but I don't know, I'm lazy. And like, I can just do it. Uh, in conjunction and um, gain cards even faster. Uh, surprise bonus. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Surprise bonus is pretty okay. Also, okay, I have upgrade times here now. Like, now it actually gave me one. But am I not supposed to get one upgrade and two reset things and start with the one reset thing? I'm still incredibly confused. I'm still incredibly confused. Okay. Okay, so basically I can... Okay, I just get new cards and they just uh, replace old cards. So I can technically... Um, like roll through this until I um, get something like now it's really good and now I just use it okay 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 that that also works I, I thought I had to use it every time in order to empty it agile brick hmm. Um, plus five uh, second duration of style, staying on the ground for every one second before starlight disappearing when you pick it up. Basic weapon damage for the next city round. Uh, each second uh, plus fifty percent total weapon damage against enemies and decay effect. Not really that crazy, but I'm gonna use it since I uh, since I want to try it one, uh, out once. Because like it's a fucking brick you just throw against enemies' heads. Like how could you not love that? <laughs> I need to actually hit though. <laughs> oh god, that's so funny, dude. I love this weapon. Like, just for... Dude, if I only was able to hit. Problem is, like, I'm not... Like, I have terrible aim, obviously. But, like... Come on, please. <laughs> no. Okay. 
It's also like a, a single shot, um, never reload uh, weapon. So, uh, uh, just like Golden Bow. Like, on aesthetics alone, the brick might be my. Uh, might be my new uh, favorite weapon. Um, also, very interesting how um, actually, for the sake of um, for the sake of gaining um, gaining cards, uh, firing the brick actually counts as reloading. That's very interesting. But yeah, on aesthetics alone, the brick might already be my new favorite weapon, but uh, because of its similarities to the golden bow, um, it might actually become, because like the golden bow is one of my favorite weapons. Um, come on, dude, I'm, I'm hurting here, dude. Just need to calm down and actually play good. Uh, what is the crit multiplier of this thing? 6.7! That is pretty good. Like, isn't the golden bow also only like 7 point something? Like, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a, like, honestly, might just be my favorite weapon in the entire game. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Uh, Ostrich Rider is pretty good. I can, okay, interesting. I can uh, reroll them from right within this thing. Uh, lucky roulette. Hmm. I want to try it out how it works. Capacity overdraft is kind of ich. Ostrich rider would really help me out uh, with uh, Lubu though if we get him. I don't really have to worry about dodging too much then anymore. But like, I want to try out the lucky roulette how how it actually works. Because I think it will just always like. Pretty mu it will pretty much like if you're over um, if you're above uh, 1999 copper or like actually also at 1999 but like if you have at, uh, if you had 2000 copper or above it will pretty much always just reduce the amount of money you have I think and then the rest obviously like if you can stay like between you can abuse it um, obviously uh, if you stay between 1,000 and 2,000, because then you always get, like, up to 1,000, like, randomly, maybe. I don't know, it seems really stupid, but, like, I don't know. I think I gotta, actually, nah. I, I gotta think about, like, actually getting a build going, and Ostrich Rider is just really, really good. So I'm just gonna take it. If only I was able to hit, dude. Dude, I can't hit shit. I'm so bad. Dude, if now only... If now only I got a... Um, like, I don't know, a something that made it so I don't have to aim anymore. Like something that uh, made me get free crits or something. Like, uh, like, I guess, uh, the tiger, uh, like, Leilu or whatever his fucking name is, has uh, that as, like, one of the passives. Um, sorry, like, yeah, again, on, on tiger, it's gonna be just really good. <laughs> it's, it seems like a really, really strong, uh, it just seems like a really, really good weapon. And also very funny. <laughs> um... That's just really that's just really good because with the brick we just uh, gain extra aspects uh, the entire time. So I don't know. This is also really good, but I think this is gonna be stronger for now. Also, now take a look at our. Okay, we did get upgrade times. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. How do I how do I upgrade them though? Do I even upgrade? Okay, no. Okay. So the stuff changes if I 
Okay, so it does get automatically consumed. Because, like, now if I mark them, to, uh, those two, then I don't have any more left. But then when does it use them? Or does it, like, automatically... Uh, like, does it basically, um... Does it not, like, permanently upgrade them? And it's just, like, uh, this just is the pool of upgrades that I can apply. Then that makes sense. Then these icons also make sense. Because, like, the, this also now means that, um... Um... Yeah. Okay, I, I, I get it now. I think I get it now. And the reason why there's a, a rare mouse thing is because, like, in some... Uh, Strategies it might be more advantageous to have more rares than legendaries because like rares are overall more common for example for like uh, drafting the cards um, Also like what does the what does the rare do? What is the difference between the rare and the legendary uh, Astro house the like, rare is you 800 damage twice to nearby enemies within a 3.5 meter radius of the target then deal 1000 damage within seven meters uh, legendary is the same Thing. Finally, deal 1000 damage per second and reduce movement speed by 50%. Which is like... Deal 1000 damage per second. It seems really strong uh, for what duration though. I know, I, I feel like that needs to be specified maybe? Um, but yeah. Um, just getting uh, more rares would just be more consistent. But yeah, okay, I, I get it now, though. Because, uh, okay, so the upgrade stuff is just like a pool. And you, with this, you decide how you want to spend them and you can always change it. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And the resets are just straight up rerolls that you can spend. Okay, okay, I'm actually going to keep it on rare then. Because like then I can actually like, get some flushes maybe. Because like uh, you see our... Um, those changes are actually like somewhat okay as compared to like just uh, this which just like reduces the rare chance for rare cards for no reason. Okay, I I'm starting to understand the character, I think. Maybe. Now I only need to like play well. As an uh, phantom trader or phantom peddler. Dude, I have no aim. My ass has no aim. Piss off. Okay. Yeah, see, now I... Uh, got this, and now I can just do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to understand it. But I wish... I wish the game, like, I don't know... Now that I'm, like, generating cards, like, wild... I wish the game told me... Uh, when I had a flush ready. Um, because I don't want to keep looking down there the entire time. I guess then um, that one ability uh, that automatically resets it for me comes in handy, doesn't it, huh? The fact that you can also just uh, hold shoot uh, with the brick instead of like actually having to draw like with the golden bow makes it also really um, really comfortable. God, dude, fuck! Oh god! Oh god! Oh hi! Oh god! Ah, let me go! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> um. Dude, what am I? What am I supposed to do there? <laughs> let Let me go. You're the last enemy, though. Probably, hopefully. I I lost a run to the beetle at this uh, exact spot once before. Come on, dude, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, uh, because, like, I guess this is probably a good idea. Because, like, I can't really weak spot hit him, which is, like, sa uh, bad because the, um... The brick is a sniper, right? Yeah, now this for the, like, big... Oh, God. Big, uh, lucky shots, sure. Oh, 
Oh god. I did hear I I got scared because I thought I heard a um one of the like detonator boys behind me. Oh god. Should definitely use my skills more against them. Okay, now. That went somewhat okay, I guess, all things all things considered. Uh nimble go shark? It's, uh, it's an okay go shock, but nothing to really sing of. Uh, lifesaver. I'm just gonna reroll that because it's just gonna get destroyed very, very soon. Like, might as well immediately reroll it. Uh, rational consumption. Nah, no, that's not. That's not gonna live for long, but sure, whatever. Getting to enhance that would be crazy. That would be really cool. There's still enemies somewhere, but like I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, Phantom Peddler, what you got? Enhanced normal ammo. Hmm. 100% uh, extra ammo of other types when shooting with normal ammo weapons, plus 30% weapon damage for uh, each extra ammo consumed in this shooting, plus 30% chance of a lucky shot for every large ammo consumed, uh, and plus uh, crit for every special ammo consumed. That's really good if I actually play with a normal ammo weapon. I'm just gonna take it just in case I'm gonna pick one up. Because if I do, then that's gonna be crazy good. That's like really good. Uh, ammo recoverer, also really, really good. Uh, persistence, sure, sure. Yeah, you are still there. Goodbye. You are also still here. Goodbye. Those guys have been chilling here the entire time. <laughs> they probably like had a mini bar over here or something. No, I just blew it up. Uh, shield and armor. Ah, yeah, I don't really know what this guy wants yet, but judging by how I can like get shield and armor with my ascensions and shit, and also like how I have much more shield than HP, apparently. I think that shield and armor is probably gonna be better. And I also have persistent, um, which usually uh, profits off of uh, mainly building on shields. So I guess I'm just gonna go for shield and armor since I don't really know. Maybe the character also doesn't really have a preference, could also be, but I think uh, probably leans a bit more towards um, Probably leans a bit more towards uh, uh, shield. Come on, this is like this is such a good uh, thing. Please do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm starting to get into it, but uh, th there's still a few questions remaining, but I guess reasonable luck. I mean, this early on might as well. Um, we gotta get rid of it fairly soon, though. feel like, like, honestly, reasonable luck is just great reroll re fodder, too. Uh, since it's gonna reroll into another legendary, obviously. So, um... Yeah, pretty pretty good to have actually. Like for now, it's just gonna give us a uh, lucky shot. Though actually, like uh, it actually uh, actively like I mean I guess uh, when once we use the brick again, it doesn't matter too much. Um, but uh, it actually um, disables, uh, disables the entire strong thing about the um, tiger cannon. Uh, we have like the uh, strong tiger cannon inscription, which basically gives us uh, uh, plus 200 lucky shot chance every second shot. Um, because uh, like we can't exceed 150%, uh, I think it is. Which like I guess in the end it just like equals everything out, and it also doesn't really apply to the uh, to the brick. So I think it's still worth keeping around for now. For now at least. 
Ähm. Miete. But yeah, it actually really gives the strongest part of our the tiger cannon. Like, I guess it gives us, um, like, in exchange for uh, capping our lucky shot chance uh, at 150% uh, instead of the 200 we would have. Like, I mean, I guess it it's not too much. And in the exchange, it gives us 80% uh, on the normal shots. So, yeah, overall, I don't know, not, not too bad. It's gonna become bad pretty soon, though. I'm pretty sure. Um, do this first, I guess. No. Uh, one, plus one capacity. If falling stars and an impure Astro replace one lowest quality Astro aspect with wild Astro aspect with a chance to replace two. Yeah, this is where it's gonna start to become good, I feel like. I think this is where it's gonna start to become good. Um, also, what do we wanna upgrade here? I think the brick, probably. Yeah, plus crit X, hell yeah. Um, didn't it have like a six earlier? What happened to that? Did I have like something that gave me crit, uh, crit X or something? I'm gonna enhance it, obviously. Like what? What happened to that? Didn't it have like a like a six times crit multiplier earlier or something? To my knowledge, like even if I had something like a scroll or an ascension that did that. It shouldn't show up, like, unless uh, it, it should only show up for the, like, Gemini inscription, Gemini inscription thing? I, I am confused. Anyways, last stage before the boss. Incredibly, uh, incredibly long, um, uh, long tomb, actually. Like, it, it, it feels like I've been in here in ages. Then again, I guess, I guess this is already the... Like, uh, third run, fourth run, I don't know, lost count. If only I could actually hit stuff, though. Dude, they, they don't even hit one hit the normal basic bitch enemies. I mean, I guess I gotta pick up the, uh, like, special stuff, right? Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Don't. But yeah, on, like, uh, on Lei Luo, uh, the brick is probably gonna be really good. Let's do this against the horse heads, because they, uh, apparently... They don't block it. Ah, God! That is, um... That was kind of scary. I mean, I guess I have fake death, but still. There's a golden bow, which is, like, interesting, I guess. Dude, this is so stupid, though, with the, like, 10,000 uh, horse heads everywhere, which are really annoying, and then the fucking even more longbowmen. Oh my god, what am I even doing? Can I please hit? Like, if I actually hit, uh, obviously I'm doing a lot of fucking damage, but like... Yeah, if I hit. <laughs> Which I'm not really doing much right now, because I don't know how to play, apparently. But yeah, I think I'm gonna need more utility um, in order to like uh, um, get easier actual flushes or like um, astro houses is what they're called or something, right? Um, because now that with every reload I get a new uh, uh, I get a new card. Now that with every reload I get a new card. Um, they go away very quickly, and I, I don't know, I pretty much only get uh, the impure ones. Which is still somewhat okay, obviously, but like...
Also, obviously, I have the like built in reroll whenever I fire of the like latest, um, of the latest uh, one I picked up, obviously. Oh, hi. I just straight up missed that. Oh, oh, please, don't. Please, 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 my guy. Calm down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. This was like the weirdest fucking room ever in terms of like how bad I played and how still it, uh, how well it still went um yeah that's a that's a pretty good golden bow actually not at all it's just a I mean it's a critical golden bow but like it's it's just a golden bow which in itself is obviously really good because golden bow is good but uh yeah it's still pre first boss and we have a brick it's so funny that like you have so many weapons uh, that have such creative names and then there's just a brick <laughs> which also like uh, beyond just a few um like outside of just a few decorations on the side it also is literally just a brick <laughs> all right um hell yeah this uh this seems pretty good which uh, and also like getting this will now increase our chance of uh getting the third one fairly soon like this, uh, this seems pretty good. Um, yeah. I mean, this would just um, give us more card space, which is also good. But yeah, no, we definitely want this one. We definitely want this one. Like, n not even a discussion there, I think. Because it's like a very very important uh thing and already increasing the chance of uh oh god why you why does it have to be you um already increasing the chance of um if only i actually was managed to hit the guy I'm barely doing any damage to him. I'm definitely not gonna be able to kill him. Now he obviously splits up. I don't know who's the real one. I pretty much will have to wait until uh, he drops the time stop, I think. Where, where, where? Over there. Yeah, no. We're very much not in time. Like, obviously, if I um, used the brick more, then I would have probably been able to uh, actually kill him. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, but for that, I would need aim. Where is he? Back there, dude. I think this is the right one. Like, we barely made it. But, yeah. Barely. <laughs> uh, which means we didn't make it. Piercing bullet though, after dealing weapon damage to an enemy, uh, skill damage against that enemy, like that's pretty good to just have. Um, I mean, we, we got something out of it, so I'm not too mad, but yeah, still. I really, like, in later stages I, I can kill him pretty easily, but in like, early stages of the game, uh, I just like, I just don't have the damage to kill him. And like, I would have to, um, I would need to hit every shot perfectly. Which I'm just not able to because I'm bad at the game. Uh, I wouldn't need to hit every shot perfectly in order to um, have a chance at defeating him. Or like at least hit more than 10% of my shots, I guess. <laughs> okay, overwhelming shield. That's um, okay, but nah. 
Hidden transaction. Hidden transaction is really, really fucking good. Hell yeah. Give me that. All right. Leilu again? Uh, not Leilu. Uh, the other tiger guy. <laughs> Uh, increase damage dealt to enemies within a certain area. The lower the enemy's total HP, the higher damage you deal. Uh, pretty okay. Lower damage taken for every normal uh, elite boss within 10 meters. Those are all very, like, those are both very melee focused, which for this character, not really what I want. Increases weapon damage and uh, explosion damage upon killing the enemy or destroying an item. Uh, for every 10 animal consumed, increases rate of fire and accuracy where there's a chance to recover ammo consumed for 3 seconds. For each enemy killed within 10 meters, increase movement speed and weapon speed up to 5 stacks. Um, I guess I'm gonna take this because it's just like useful, I guess. Like, I'd rather take none of these actually. Honestly, like, none of these really do. And really do anything for me. If anything, this does something for me, but I'd rather just have my normal ascensions. Like the the ones from last time, they, those are crazy good. But like these are these don't really do much for me. I think I'd rather have my uh, my normal ascensions. I think. Uh, so I'm actually gonna do that. I think. I think that's the correct decision here. I think. Uh, resilient life. Mm, uh, uh, Devil's covenant. Sure. <laughs> a brick. A brick? Um, this is a pretty good brick with like plus 60% uh, lucky shot chance there. Um, pretty good. I would say that's worth buying. I would say that's worth buying. Like even though it isn't an enhanced one. But like we... Uh, we will get like we will need to get a different weapon anyways but like for now the lucky shot chance on that guy pretty good mm, against uh, dk that's like eh. um yeah i think we're also gonna stick with reasonable luck for now i think it's gonna be pretty useful for now Anything I want to re-roll in here by the way i don't think yeah i don't think there's actually anything that i want to re-roll yet like i could um, reroll the piercing bullet, but I think it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Well then, well then, let's hope for the best. We we do have ostrich rider and we have a good sniper. I think we have good chances, but like um, I can always still throw this. Like, uh, that is, uh, completely within my, uh, abilities. Oh, hell yeah, I got the, like, uh, lowest reroll there for, like, um, uh, got the, like, full, uh, fully rare one. Could you, like, stop following me? I don't have the crowd control. Actually, that was a bad decision. I just, just saw the legendary in there and uh, press fire. But it was actually a bad decision. I should go only for rare ones uh, with this. Uh, with what I currently have, I think. Like, uh, I think the gamble is to like uh, see that I have... Um, yeah, that like this, I have like um, uh, two or three more rare ones, uh, and then just let the rerolls do the rest. And the, the rest needs to be commons because uh, only the lowest ones get rerolled. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we got it though. We got it though. We got it though. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I'm starting to understand what, uh, what uh, this character tries to do, and it's like way less luck-based than I anticipated. Okay, masterful craftsmanship. Okay, 
That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, quiet weapons always have two explosive inscriptions. The maximum number of explosive inscriptions is fixed at two, and the total inscription limit. It is pretty good. Um, I feel like it may, like, uh, bottleneck me at the end because it, like, caps my inscription stuff. I feel like I could maybe do better without it. Um, also, I should, like, definitely try and go for a weapon with normal ammo. Like, this one, for example, like... Just go with this. Because, like, um, I do have the enhanced normal ammo uh, shitfuck thing. Yeah. It's just <laughs> called enhanced normal ammo. Should definitely uh, try and use a strong normal we uh, normal ammo weapon. Okay, what do you have? Uh, yep, hell yeah. Um, yeah, just take that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Getting a good brick would be interesting here, uh, because like again, I, I really like the brick. Okay, uh, first one, first this though. Uh, coin shot. Yeah, we're gonna take coin shot. Um, realm of corrosion. We already have the blazing hoop, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The other ones aren't really that interesting. Uh, Lone Ranger is pretty good. Uh, doesn't do too much for the enemies too, I think. Um, I guess I'm gonna take Lone Ranger here. We already have Blazing Hoop, don't we? Don't we already have Blazing Hoop? No, that was the run before. Well, then we should definitely take it with the Realm of Corrosion. Right? Safety measures really not... Yeah. Yeah, I guess just just take this then. We definitely want to take all of the uh, scrolls we gave to the, to the enemy. Okay. Uh, skill trick. Uh, you know, explosive hands. Okay, now that I understand more what the character tries to do... Maybe I understand this uh, thing actually. When a card hits an uh, enemy, trigger a 5 minute meter explosion, dealing card damage. Once to enemies in range. Obtain the same astro aspects as the previous slot through astro forecast. Okay, so it's just like clones. So if I just spam the grenade, I just get free flushes with that? Like if I don't get astro aspects through other sources, which I obviously do with this build. Um, but it just copies the last one. So if I only get uh, cards through... Uh, through this, then I just get free flushes, apparently. Okay. Uh, clear Astro House and gain skill damage for 7 seconds if slots are full. Uh, so it clears it automatically and just gives me skill damage then. There's a chance to gain a bonus without clearing Astro House. Uh, so there's a chance that you get the bonus without the Astro House being cleared. I think that uh, that is a better wording there. Um, because, like, this implies that you just get the bonus just like that without needing to be full, but yeah, uh, this, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, no, it doesn't imply that, actually, I'm just stupid. Uh, yeah, that just gives me more, okay. Or this. I don't want this, though, honestly. I am gonna try this, I guess. I don't really have much choice. Um, sure. I am gonna try the uh, dragon, uh, ch dragon chaser here, though I think that, yeah, no. I think that because of the um, free card generation, the brick is probably still gonna remain one of our strongest weapons. Where's the... where are they? They just went somewhere and died, apparently. Oh god. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Who is charging? I hear some like charging stuff. Who, who is charging shit? 
Is that... Did the bandit retainers... Like, it, it seems to be the bandit retainer, but, like, did they always make that sound when charging their shots? I'm hearing that sound for the first time. Take this brick to the face. Why? How did I miss that, dude? Could it, like, hit the head? They do have a head hitbox, right? Oh, God, dude. I got so scared there for a second because it could have very well been that, um... Fake death was just not on cooldown. Like... I, honestly, the the fact that fake death was off cooldown actually carried. Like I didn't, like I didn't try to not play around it this time. Uh, enhanced resolute uh, movement speed and damage for at least uh, when you shield armor zero. That's a that's a point that I don't want to even reach. So um, yeah, mm, that's a pretty good big hippo. Also, a normal ammo weapon, probably better than the dragon chaser with the. Plus 60 uh, lucky shot? Damn. Also, uh, plus 10% lucky shot for 3 seconds whenever you hit an enemy. Plus 80% to create a, a lightning ball and crit it. That's a really good big hippo, I would say. That's a really good big hippo. I think I'm gonna take that instead of the dragon chaser. Um, that might be our um, normal ammo weapon in question. Uh, I'm gonna reroll once more. Uh, enhanced extra surprise, yeah, sure. Gonna get a gonna get a lot of cards through that if you want to. Oh damn! We also have a we also have a rare uh, Astro House ready, which we can just fire right away. Um, do we want to go for rare now, by the way, or for legendary? I think we actually, st we still want to go for rares, I think. Okay. Um, seems like the most consistent strategy, which is like, again, uh, just as I said before, uh, usually with these kind of games. Um, like, yes, I uh, like gambling mechanics a lot. But um, consistency is uh, the key to a lot of uh, successful runs. So if you can somehow, like obviously interact with the gambling mechanics because they're fun. Uh, but if you can find like um, consistent ways, uh, like the con most consistent ways to use those gambling mechanics, then that's usually the... Um, the best way you can go. Um, yeah. Also, anything I want to maybe reroll? I could actually, like, I feel I like I want to reroll the Lone Ranger actually, because we we have a lot of rerolls ready, right? Uh, the Lone Ranger is like the one a bit, uh, the one scroll from the uh, ones we got that I don't really care about. Though it's still really good. I think I'm still gonna keep it. Lone Ranger in and of itself is still really good. Um, yeah. Also, like, what exactly does this do again now? Now that we actually have a weapon that uh, uh, makes use of this. Uh, yeah, I consume extra ammo of other types when shooting with normal ammo weapons. Um, which just basically means that I'm never gonna have ammo of the other types, I guess. Uh, plus 30% weapon damage for each extra ammo consumed in this uh, shooting. So, pretty much, it's just gonna be plus 60% extra weapon damage. Um, plus 30% chance of a lucky shot for every large ammo consumed, so it's gonna be plus 60% lucky shot, okay. Uh, oh no, no, only plus 30, because it's only for the large ammo, okay, I know. And plus crit X. But yeah, I think at this point, I just wanna re-roll reasonable luck, because I think we should get to 150 at this point. Like, let's just calculate. This is plus 30. Um, don't have anything else that also gave lucky shots? Yeah, plus, plus 30, um, plus 30, so we're at 60 there. 
think that's about it, actually. Uh, we're at 60 there. Um, and then obviously the weapon also has 60. So we're at 120. I think we can reroll the reasonable luck. Like, who knows what cool uh, thing we could get. Like, the... Yeah. Elemental magazine. Huh, that's... Just never gonna do anything. <laughs> I'm honestly uh, pretty sad now. I gotta say. Oh well. Like obviously, unless we can get uh, the Gemini. Oh god. Unless we can get the Gemini inscription that uh, makes our primary weapon share elemental advantages, because that means. Actually, I don't think I think it really only like means the uh, the advantages and not the um, oh god and not the uh, elements that it can trigger. Also, actually, like um, the lightning balls, I'm really scared about the lightning balls, but those are ours. And uh, lightning balls probably the strongest uh, of the three elemental balls. So. Um, that's a crazy good big hippo, actually. God damn it. If not only I could hit. How's the... Damn, what fucking... What a crazy house did we get there. Was that a legendary for some reason? Yeah, the brick is actually like still uh, Still really good actually if I if I hit obviously the brick hits like um, Well like a brick <laughs> um, Yeah, no, I, I really just enjoy the brick may just be my new favorite weapon, but um, Yeah magazine capacity is probably just gonna be the best one for this though. Like magazine capacity. It actually only has 80 magazine capacity. I thought Big Hippo had way more. Um gonna go with this definitely. I think magazine capacity is actually like um the one thing that I want on this. That or elemental advantages because of the elemental magazine, but yeah no getting uh, an elemental big hippo like there's other ways for us to get it right like this uh, for example there's, there's the elemental convergence uh, for converging uh, I'm, I'm, I can't fucking I can't fucking <laughs> uh, yeah but like there's the the synergies right uh, and, uh, the elemental converge uh, conversion synergies which like how close would we be to them Spiritual link here. Um, yeah, fire conversion, corrosion conversion. We pretty much need only like either the fire shard or the corrosion shard or I guess elemental weave or the enthusiast would also work. Elemental weave is like the weave is like the most uh, universal one though. But yeah, getting getting a fire be careful would be kind of fun or something I guess. But yeah, that's that should be our way to getting an elemental big hippo and not and not um, trying to do it uh, via Germany inscription. So I think that um, the one with like shared magazines is probably going to be the ideal one because it usually has been for big hippo in the past. The fact that I create so many um, uh, lightning balls when I crit, though. Like, with that fire rate, I, like, create mad lightning balls. If I actually hit, that is. But, like, those are actually gonna be a, a huge part of our DPS uh, in the late game, I feel like. If only I actually was able to hit, dude. What the fuck am I doing?
You can't run. <laughs> Boy, I actually tried to run out of my fucking uh, death zone. Can you like stop? Oh my god! Like they, they're actually just running. And completely unrelated enemies are killing me instead. That it? No. There's one more guy up there. Hi. <laughs> Bro was just chilling. Okay, we already got the got all of the upgrades from the craftsman, I believe, so let's just go in here real quick. I'm actually kind of sad now that I don't get to use Brick, but like the um, Wikipo is definitely much stronger. Like, look at what it is doing with the lightning balls alone. Stop running, dude. Yeah. I literally just get to create free flushes uh, when I just use uh, my um, use my grenades, the grenades too. Dude, fuck you, man! Can I like please get the kill? Thank you. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm dead. I'm so dead, dude. I'm gonna throw bricks, dude. Like, this is actually the uh, worst elite that we could have gotten. Uh, because it's the one that we can't just hold. Dude, can I please get the guy? That we can't just hold fire against. Dude, fucking hell, dude. I just want to kill those guys. I can't hit, though. Dude, I'm so bad at this game. Oh my god. Okay, are you like, please don't spawn any more ads actually. Fucking drop your shield, motherfucker. I should actually like I like I technically can just like run around him and kill him with like my hoops, right? Definitely can do that, but like that's boring and also takes a long time. Oh my god. Thank you, fucking hell. The walls are gonna kill him. Dude, that was so annoying, dude. I actually, like, uh, uh, lost my revive, uh, revive here, obviously, which is, like, very unfortunate. That's a... That's an okay pupil. I mean, the, the second ex uh, exclusive inscription is pretty good, obviously, but... Um, yeah. Hard to get excited about the amount of uh, exclusive inscriptions when it's literally... Um, my thing, ooh, Evil Banishing Talisman, that's gonna be really good. Ammo Belt is also pretty useful here. And, like, Intimidating Presence is also pretty good, but Evil Banishing Talisman has, is such, like, so good for utility. Because now I can just, like, pick up Curse Scrolls whenever I want, and it actually does stuff. And the Curse Scrolls, uh, obviously, are pretty good for this character specifically as well. Because um, cross trolls uh, give me a chance for uh, wild cards, right? Which just make it makes it easier to get uh, flushes. I'm I'm just gonna call them flushes because that just makes more sense to me. 
Um, this is pretty good. Uh, this is also pretty good. I think this is probably the best, especially since we already have the max amount of slots. This is just going to give us 60 uh, max shield and it's only going to become bigger with further upgrades. Yeah, no, this this is definitely the best one here. Definitely. Um, well then... I think we're ready in this area. I think we're done. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Craftsman there immediately, that's pretty useful. Oh god. There's a moth in here. How how it got inside? I couldn't tell you. Cuz I had my windows closed uh like I don't like obviously I open up my windows regularly but like still I didn't open them up today and I'm pretty sure that yesterday the moth wasn't here yet. Uh surely that's not going to like be incredibly annoying and distracting and uh kill me the amount of fucking lightning balls though like actually such a crazy fucking big hippo i haven't played with big hippo in a while but like uh <laughs> this is one hell of a one hell of a uh, run with it i would say oh god Gotta get rid of those worms back there. <laughs> the brick is so fucking funny. I think after this... Damn, now I actually like uh, regret not... Um, yeah, well, okay. Like, I somewhat regret not playing with the... Um, being able to like transfer weapons uh, modifier thingy. I somewhat regret it. But um, also, uh, like, because uh, I want to do a uh, Lei Luo run after this. Maybe go for Brick. Okay, this is really good. Um, random non-exclusive inscription. The non-inclusive uh, uh, inscriptions of my weapons are lucky shots, though. Also, I can't get more than two, I think. So, uh, yeah, no, just give me upgrades. And give me two cross scrolls, hell yeah. Or, like, no, only one cross scroll, it doesn't matter. But yeah, um, I think I want to do a Lei Luo run after this and maybe go for um, go for brick, uh, go for a brick run, um, and obviously playing with the um, like uh, what was its fucking name? Mysterious Dream. I don't I don't remember what the fuck it was actually called. shit I also get the like uh, the, the long blast is definitely a um, is definitely the um, the thing of like a legendary thing I would I would guess uh, yeah anyways um, yeah if I was if I played with uh, if that uh, with that modifier then obviously um, too sad that that missed like I can just hit again and I have two wilds in my rotation yeah yeah with like two wilds and the amount of automatic rerolls that I get yeah no 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 I, I get it I get it I think I'm actually gonna go for legendaries now then uh, anyways um, what I wanted to say uh, yeah I obviously would have been ab able to transfer the um, to transfer the um, the brick then, uh, so that I can guarantee a Lei Luo brick run, but um, obviously it doesn't really matter too much because 
I only would be able to get it in stage 3 anyways. And this is not a stage 3 brick. This is not a stage 3 brick. Oh god. Please, I need to keep hitting him. Okay. That should be his death almost though. Should it not be? I, th I thought he didn't have too many HP. Can you like die or something? Holy shit, I, I forgot how strong the lightning balls were. <laughs> oh god, he split up. He felt really funny right there, dude. He feel he feeling really funny. I get to do it again. Oh god. Oh god. With the amount of fucking dogs though. Can you like stop? Can you like stop or something? Dude, that's so annoying. I'm gonna get rid of all of those basic bitch enemies, I think. They are also like scary if I wanna run around. Because they can technically pick me off and shit. Oh god. Oh, okay, but okay, the split monsters don't count as part of the wave, so I just get a whole new wave of monsters now. Dude, can you stop spawning the dogs? My god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, that is scary, that is scary. Please, please, let me run, let me run, let me run, let me run, please, please, oh god. Luckily fake death uh, is available again. Please, let me kill something. Thank you. Oh my god. No, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off. Dude, I'm just running the entire time, it's so annoying. Okay. Oh god, there's a- oh my god, why? Yeah, just hail down. Hell yeah. Destroy them. That didn't do shit, dude. Dude, I need some space. Please, give me some space. Oh god. No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh god. Um, I would have liked to talk to him like once. Uh, but sure than not. I, I think I just missed the prompt. Okay, please uh, kill this guy. Oh god. Um. <laughs> It's so many annoying enemies. Hell yeah. Yeah, do that. Do that. Like, okay, like, no, I barely touched those so far. They're like, um, the bandits. I, I need to, um, like, the, the hermits, I mean. My god! Fucking most... Like, least unfortunate uh, enemy spawns in fucking Angsty Desert. Like, I feel like that that's always what happens. Like, I get a good run. Like, something that should technically be unlosable. And then I just get uh, enemies in Angsty Desert that there's just no way that I can handle them. Because, like, uh, I got, like, uh, a, a fucking splitting, splitting hermit or, or, or whatever that was, like... And he just fucking spawned dogs the entire time, which is somewhat handleable. But like, then I need to take care of all of the enemies around that. 
And then there's just fucking two dark face bandits, which are like already threatening enough in and of themselves. Like literally, like what the fuck was that? <laughs> and it always happens to me uh, if, I ha if I have like a good run that like Angsy Desert Stage Two or something. It, it, I feel like also exactly in that room. It's like the third time that I got an incredibly unfair elite spawn in that exact room. Like actually. Fuck this. Now I'm not even sure if I want to do another Leilu run, but yeah, fuck this. Fuck the new content, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, th I feel like the new content is gonna be um, there already. Like, I I'm just, I just, I don't know. Oh, man. Like, I feel like this is some of the new content already also, uh, that would also be visible when I'm playing Leilua, but... Like, I really want to do a Leilua brick run. Just feels... Uh, seems really fun. Yeah, no, fuck this. I'm, I'm just gonna do one. Like, I don't know. I can, I can always play more. I'm just, like, uh, th thinking because, like, I'm pretty sure that... Um, this is probably gonna be the last run for today for this stream. And I don't know when I will be able to actually stream the game the next time but yeah whatever um yeah definitely this one um copycat is like somewhat okay but give me uh no 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 i mean that's okay give me fucking enhanced uh fucking weapon dude like a ultimate firearm, I mean. Give me ultimate firearm, dude. Dude. There it is. My god! <laughs> Holy shit! Um, yeah, there's a brick. Hell yeah. Uh, lucky, chance for, uh, lucky chance for three seconds whenever you hit an enemy. That's pretty okay. Well then. Uh, how did that uh, work again with like Leilu? Uh, like, how did it. Like, it was like one of them over here. Uh. Yeah, when using a sniper rifle but not causing a crit hit, there's a 50% chance of triggering a crit hit with 70% uh, weapon crit X. Which is gonna be really fucking strong. Like, 50% uh, is pretty good. Like pretty, uh, pretty, uh, 50% chance uh, is uh, pretty good odds, uh, is what I mean. Rip our ammo though, we don't have any more ammo. Is that just a golden ball right away? That is crazy. The game said, hmm, you have a new favorite uh, golden ball? Um, how about you get a golden ball? What the fuck game? And it's the fucking crazy, the, the fucking crazy exclusive inscription too. Like this is just much better than the, God, why? Oh. And it has a fucking increased projectiles thing. It has like a 1.2 times thing. And it has a crit X up too. It also like actually, holy shit, it's... I thought that the golden bowl by default had like 5 crit X, but actually the brick has an incredibly high crit X. Could the brick just be the weapon with the new highest crit multiplier? Because like didn't have the strike wing only have like... No, I think the strike ring still has like five times or something, so it's still like slightly better. But yeah, uh, that's crazy good. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's a really good fucking golden bow because it uh, comes with the inscription that gives us uh, crowd control, which is like the um, most difficult part uh, at the beginning of uh, Lei Luo runs. Immortal. What a what a good modifier that is. 
So yeah, I guess for now we're gonna just run with this uh, golden ball. <laughs> it's a good golden ball. Uh, and I mean, I guess it's still uh, pre-first boss anyway, so... Um, if we uh, get there, because like that's apparently is not guaranteed, because the game likes to pull out uh, unfair tactics. Um, if we get past the first boss, then we will obviously try to um, try to get the. I wish I could hit crits, dude. Uh, we will obviously try to get the brick set up from there. Ah! Oh god. Okay. That could have been close. Actually, no, because like I have fake death. Fake death is just so good to have from the very beginning of the run. Like, it, you were able to see in the last run, uh, right? Like, how fake death carried me. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Like, fake death carried me hard. Um, being able to have that from the very beginning of the run definitely worth uh, having to uh, play with um, yeah definitely want the recast yeah uh, definitely worth playing with um, uh, two player skating I would say <laughs> definitely I can't hit shit I can't hit shit, dude. Eat bricks. Obvi obviously you split up. Obviously. Like, why wouldn't you? Dude, I'm a, but, but fucking throwing a brick <laughs> into the enemy's face uh, for them to then be fucking struck by thunder by fucking Thor himself it's just so comedic, actually. And honestly, I gotta say, like, the brick itself is already pretty good, but, like, then it has the whole m mechanic with, like, the uh, picking up the buffs. Which, like, what, what do the buffs do exactly? Like, I think they just increase the damage, right? Uh, a crit uh, with higher critics. Oh, that's uh, why I got uh, why uh, you get so high um, with your crit uh, multiplier because of the because of the pickups. Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. And without them, it yeah, without them, it's still at four point seven though for some reason. And with them, it can go up to like probably seven or something, which yeah. Really crazy, holy shit. And really fun. I fucking love the brick, holy shit. I love the brick. Oh god. Me, me when I um I don't know ah proclaim my pro proclaim my love for a certain console. Where's the last enemy? Is that do they are they like yeah okay now. Um, alright, um, yeah, this is pretty good, this is pretty good. Um, <laughs> both are pretty good, but I would think that this probably scales a bit better. Uh, yeah, the multiple starring, true, that is a thing. I'm just gonna, like, it's a really good golden ball, but I'm gonna throw away the golden ball. And we can uh, use this, uh, like, once, I guess. 
Uh, plus one crit X for next shot and drops ammo for current uh, weapon when defeating an enemy with crit hit. Can you even crit with this thing? Kind of feel like you can, but we're gonna we're gonna try it out once. Feels like um approximately maybe the same playstyle uh, as the ice spear is, with like basically you just shoot at the enemy and then you. Uh, press right click in the right rhythm. Yeah, mad crowd control though. Also, you basically ignore shields, obviously. And yeah, you can uh, definitely crit, I think. Yeah, you can definitely crit. It's a pretty good weapon, like not for this character specifically. Uh, fire enthusiast, uh, I'm gonna take it, I guess, but I don't think I want it. Um, I'm gonna take it as fodder though, as long as it doesn't do anything negative for me. Um, Berserk Soul, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking brick, dude. The brick is so goddamn funny. Uh, what is... Okay, switch manual, switch auto. Oh, that it just expands it automatically? That's crazy good. Okay, okay. Very interesting. Like, I didn't... Re like, uh, by the way, what I just did, like, alternate fire modes. Uh, fire modes. And, like, the fact that it has a fire mode like this... That's crazy. Didn't even need it, really. Okay. Does the ring itself also, like, deal damage? It feels like the... Like, does it only deal damage while expanding? Or also when it's just out there? Because, like, I feel like it... N yeah, okay, uh, the, the, the stones deal damage when they're out there. Uh, not the ring itself, though. But I think when expanding, the ring itself also deals damage. That's, that's how it's supposed to work, I think. I know, really interesting weapon. Like, I don't know, there aren't really that many, like, um... Caster-type weapons, I guess you would call them, in this game. Like, this definitely... You definitely feel like you have a completely different... Um, uh, attacking loop... Uh, than the other characters with this. Obviously, there's some characters that have, like, a caster moveset built into their uh, skill set and shit. But, um... Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool, I gotta say. Okay, Enhanced Peddler, what do you got? Uh, enhanced Elite Assassin. Um, that's pretty good, though I think the only thing that El Enhanced Elite Assassin does uh, is uh, make it work retroactively, which is to say that it's still really good. Like, I should still just take it. <laughs> um, it's pretty good. Wait, what, is, what is that pupil? Pupil looks interesting. Chance uh, when fully charged. I mean, it's pretty good. It's obviously not a sniper, though. I think, like, Leilu is not the character for this. It's a pretty good pupil, though. Um, to uh, upgrade scroll to enhance cross scroll. Uh, anything I would want to upgrade? Not yet, really. There was a yeah, there was a vault here. Who knows what we will get in the vault? Because of the weapons we have right now, that's, that's pretty good. Of the weapons we have right now, there's obviously nothing that I would really wanna. Um, that I would really wanna enhance necessarily, I think. Chain lightning damage, uh, thunder turbo is uh, pretty good. Yeah, Bolt from the Blue is also really useful, though, for just, like, actually crowd control and whatever. Um, 
Yeah. Gonna enhance the brick for now, and I might as well just put something on here. Chance to gain one more projectile. That's, that's pretty good. Twenty percent too. Like not not little. Uh, I'm gonna do this really quick then. Yeah, crazy good uh, crowd control with this weapon though. Okay, can you like... Cool, the fucking... Dude, the shield... I can't even throw past the guy because of the shield. That's so stupid. I'm just gonna attack you with this then. Because it like ignores the shield, right? Don't. I'm not really doing that much damage at all. Dude, if he would like stop spawning stupid enemies, then I could actually like throw bricks at him. That would be cool. That would be cool. I'm doing so little damage, dude. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm doing fine damage, I would say. Actually, like, probably not even. Like, I, I would uh, probably say that I'm still doing fine damage, though. But, like, it just feels like you're not doing damage when you're not two-shotting everything. Or, like, one-shotting with this character, specifically. Yeah, come on. Oh, my God. Like, I hate these fucking boss fights where you, like, need to... I know that I can hit your head hitbox. Like, I, I hate the, the, the fucking bosses uh, that have shields. So fucking annoying. <laughs> dude, I wish, dude. Dude, I wish uh, that is how it went down. That would be fucking... Like, fucking history would have been an amazing class. Fucking... And put down your shield. Like, just fucking drop it permanently, why don't you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Like, I'm not tripping, right? You can, uh, like, barely hit his head hitbox uh, above his shield, right? That is a thing that exists. I feel like I've done that in the past. Then why am I not managing uh, to do it right now? You can't? I, I feel like I've done that before, though. Okay, not with the brick. I, I mean, I guess, but why not with the brick specifically? Okay, that, that feels stupid, though. But then you could you should still be able to sneak it over. Like, I, I guess I just aimed too low then. But yeah, like, uh, yeah, the brick hitbox, uh, f like, I was, uh, putting it on the, like, I was blaming it on the, um, shield hitbox, I guess. Because, like, it was really hard to even sneak them past left and right to, uh, the other guys. Still feels like a lie, though. Anyways, uh, that's pretty good, uh, that's pretty good. It's a, it's a pretty good icy spear, but like it's pre-first boss, so it's not gonna do much. Untold effort is okay, and like uh, also beyond that, obviously we already have uh, better weapons than the icy spear, I would say, because like this one is really good for like the crowd control we're missing with the brick, and then we obviously have the brick. Um, sanguine relic. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Hidden treasure. Corrosion enthusiast. Hmm. 
Yeah, I know, but at Leilu we want to do a shield build anyways, uh, like, Sanguine Relic doesn't really do much. Obviously, we can build Ethereal Feline with it, uh, which is like the one reason we may want it. But I think Hidden Treasure is just such a good utility scroll. Like, Sanguine Relic is really good and probably the Ethereal Feline would save us more than once. But I don't want the more damage taken. I don't really profit from the lifesteal at all. And the hidden treasure is just good in general. Even though I think we will probably not trigger it very often because we will build a, build a sniper. Okay, anything that would actually be interesting to upgrade here. Like, I guess this doubles the lucky shot chance, which is pretty good. This doesn't double the uh, damage resistance. Which obviously, uh, obviously it doesn't, because like, um, that would mean it go up to, uh, uh, it would go up to uh, 100%, which in this case it just goes up to 80%, which is still pretty good though. Uh, I mean, this is okay. This is pretty good. This is okay. Yeah, no, no, these are really super ultra mega exciting i think the enhanced berserk sword is probably the strongest thing here just like doubling the lucky shot chance from it and i'm probably gonna be low hp quite a lot of times so it's it is pretty uh pretty good obviously just like not one of the most broken uh enhanced scrolls there are so yeah it's fine though it's fine though Yeah. And yeah, just fucking wiping out uh, all of the enemies with this weapon because all of their heads are on the same height. Really fun. <laughs> also, just ignoring that guy's shield. Because fuck the horse heads. Nah, I gotta I gotta be honest. After after that uh, big hippo, I got last run, uh, which by the way I still feel incredibly robbed by the by the fucking enemy spawns that that I had to lose that run. Incredibly unfair in my opinion. Um, yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, yeah, after that big hippo, I got uh, I got last run. No big hippo will ever come close again I, th I think <laughs> like that was actually the strongest big capo in existence i'm pretty sure why am i slowed down by the way i think i probably hit an enemy uh with the explosion of a um oh no i don't i don't have corrosion enthusiast though i didn't pick it up so i actually don't know what's locked me down probably like now nah. yeah no no i don't know i don't care fucking horse heads dude verpiss dich verpiss dich now i'm gonna brute force you fuck you I don't I won't play your games. <laughs> get with get hit with with my mighty uh, thunder brick. Oh, come on, you really pulled up that shield in, at the last moment, didn't you? I hate horse heads, dude. I blew myself up. <laughs> dude, please. I 
I wish I could actually aim though. Like I wish I wasn't fucking as bad of a, uh, as bad of a gamer as I am. Then I would actually be uh, be able to use the good stuff I'm getting. Anyways. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's probably the best one of all of these. Yeah. Because like that's what you want to build anyways. Uh, pretty good illusion. Pretty okay. Yeah, there was a vault over there. Oh boy, I'm. I sure hope it won't be another horse head. Okay, I think this is this should be beetle, which is fine, I guess. The delayed death is incredibly annoying, actually. Like, basically every enemy is uh, fucking uh, immortal. Just like with a slightly shorter fuse. Holy shit, who fucking came up with that modifier? Who came up with that? Who was that crazy bastard? Who thought that was fun? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Fuck you! God. I don't want to play your games. I wish I was actually like able to capitalize on the shots that I'm getting now. Please. I'm gonna die in this uh, room simply because of boredom. Like simply because I just get bored and don't pay attention anymore. Which is already the case by the way. I just felt like I needed to mention that. I deal so little damage too, like what the fuck. If at least I could chill and just like do this all day. But no, the guy also spawns ads, which I guess is uh, meant, uh, uh, meant to be so that I can regenerate ammo, I guess. Ooh. I don't care. I would use the foundry if I had to. If only it meant that this fight went by faster. You know what, like let's, let's see what this does. Let's see how much damage I do with this. It's okay, I would say. <laughs> oh my god. How did that not... How did that hit the shield, dude? What the fuck? Obviously, right when I uh, want to activate the uh, the skill, he turns around. Obviously. Oh my god! Eat my bricks, dude. Big brick by brick, suck my dick. Come on, open up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Why do I need to reload right now, dude? Why? Okay, I'm gonna reload it before I switch then. So that I don't need to next time. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. Oh my god. 
Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wow. I went to the exactly wrong side, dude. Yeah, come on. Yeah, do that. Come on, do that more. Come on. Do the melee. I think, like, I should probably, like, do that more. Like, bait out the melee stuff. God fucking damn it, dude. A least annoying horse head fight, dude. Holy shit. I mean, that's pretty good. That's, uh... That's an okay bone dragon, at best. Okay. Um... <laughs> I think this one will probably be best for now. This is also really good though. I think I think I want this actually. Uh Lightning Sana not interested. Uh bloody ammo, intimidating presence is pretty pretty funny. Elemental magazine will well actually I mean I am no I'm not gonna go for lightning weapons. I am gonna go for a brick. That's the whole point why I'm playing the guy. Uh so this will actually never really do anything. I think intimidating presence is uh is pretty good probably. I'm gonna try it out. Like obviously uh, obviously I could get an elemental conversion, but like again Specifically going for that seems like kind of a cope. Uh, what, like another uh, opportunity to upgrade, like what would I even want to upgrade? Um, what would this do upgraded? Uh, ah, okay, so instead of just casting, casting the effect around the monster I kill, it also casts around me, that's pretty good. Increasing rate of fire after using dash, pretty good. This is pretty good though, honestly, now that I think about it. Like instead, uh, instead of it being a um, set threshold, uh, it just makes it uh, a linear function and I think also yeah no no yeah no no it also doubles the max amount of uh, bonus damage from 47 to uh, 70% actually like that's pretty good considering that I actually use quite a lot of skill damage with my um, with my big thunder old thing okay uh, I think we're done in this room I hope Boss time! Yay! Okay, please give me some good ascensions. Okay. Um, increase fire damage. I don't care for that. I gotta be honest. Uh, stuff within 10 meters. I don't care for that. Um, close call actually might be pretty useful. And to the elemental rage. It's pretty okay. We stop percentage of ammo in magazine on each kill. Increase the, increase the weapon damage on the subsequent shots based on the amount of recovered ammo. That's like for high fire rate weapons, because like that's obviously one of the bunny's abilities. I don't really care for that as Leilu. And this, I mean, I guess if I get it, it will increase my uh, weapon damage by 100% after I kill. Actually, pretty good if I get it to full. And I think close call probably the other one, pretty good one here. Like this. Could be okay, but I doubt that, um, yeah, no. It would mean that I would need to apply elemental effects to an enemy in the first place. And I think before I am able to do that, they are long dead already. So, yeah, I'm gonna take these two, I think. Okay, what do you have? Uh, ammo recoverer? Sure, it's just nice. Nice to have, I guess. Bloody drill? Um, just for the utility? Pretty good, actually. Just to have it with me, just in case I need something like it, because like an enemy has like annoying amounts of shields, like the fucking hermits. Um, could be pretty nice. Fucking corrosion gold bow is really funny though. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take that bloody drill. And advanced joggers. Hell yeah, fucking hell yeah, dude. Um, we get rid of this. Switch those and. Uh, Well, I guess I'm gonna edge something in magazine capacity. That's pretty good. And yeah, sure. Just spend that money. Uh, give me some ammo. Why don't you? And then off we go, I guess. I think I'm gonna actually use the bloody drill against them. I don't think it matters too much though. Yeah, no, I should just use the brick. I should just, uh, should just use the brick, I think. With the advanced joggers here, we're, uh, we're definitely chilling in terms of, like, uh, running away. Although that was pretty oh god doom damn 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 uh, that was unnecessarily close but hey fake death easy okay how much does the strike wing actually have yeah the strike wing has like 5.8 which is really high but like definitely the brick can measure up to it which is actually crazy because the strike wing has been at the top for uh, at the top of like crit multiply thing uh, for a very long time which by the way this is like an okay strike wing and it's also a critical strike wing actually which like gives it a lot more crit actually. Um, like that's actually if I want to go for that Gemini inscription, this would be the weapon to do it with, definitely. Um, I mean I can just yeah I I do have the uh, uh, three backup weapon modifier on, so I can just put it in my backup thing. Hell yeah. And then take it on, uh, pick it up later if I if I do need it. This, holy shit! This like, it's a multiple woodpecker, meaning it already uh, like uh, as it's enhanced modifier, it ha it gains more projectiles, and then it also has an inscription with even more projectiles. That that seems really fun. Okay, that's a brick immediately. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that's good. Accuracy, that's okay. Total weapon damage against enemies and DK and luxury chance plus 20. I'm just happy that I got a brick that is eligible for a Gemini inscription immediately. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain there. Merciless combo. Yeah, sure. And we get sustained fire and close call immediately. Um... Mm -hmm. I think I gotta go for sustained fire first, if anything. Yeah, sure, sure. So far, so good. Honestly, like, we might already have our two um, final weapons. Uh, abnormal speed, really good. Abnormal speed really good. It's gonna make it really annoying to hit enemies though <laughs> because they're also gonna move faster uh, But yeah, I think I think it's worth it I think it's worth it. Abnormal speed is just really good. Deadly curse Um. Yeah, no, no, I just gotta take it. I gotta take it uh, on the house Sure, yeah, seems fine. And coin shot, yeah. Very, very good. Okay, what do you have? Um, jackpot might be useful here. Especially considering that we just gave the enemies on the house, which I think if I understood it correctly meant, means that we're just gonna get uh, half of the money drops from them. Which is kind of annoying, I guess. But I, I think with on the house it's gonna be worth it. Um, but this would somewhat mitigate that, obviously. 
dealing critical inflict shock effect on the inflicted enemy and all enemies within three meters when they lower attacks and enemy affected by shock effect increase weapon and skill damage by 100 percent actually actually pretty good actually pretty good uh and minus uh fatal current cooldown for each enemy hit by a thunderbolt base damage one like this is good but i think this could be pretty hype especially if i get the um synergy down there so basically if i yeah if i crit something and i don't even need to kill anything with a crit i just shock everything within a three meter radius uh, which I wonder if that means within the radius uh, of that enemy or within my uh, person's radius, but I hope within the radius of that enemy because like I don't want to get close to enemies. Um, and then every enemy that is shocked just takes double damage from pretty much everything. So uh, yeah, that seems actually pretty good. I never really considered that. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can't hit shit, dude. I can't hit shit. Ah! They move faster too. I need to actually aim. Oh no, what is this? I really hope that the 50% to crit for free uh, chance is gonna carry me here. But I'm all already dead, dude. I'm already dead though. <laughs> they like bullet drop uh, brick snipes from a distance. Really funny though. Really funny though. Um, damn, that's a lot of text. I'm not reading all that because I don't want it anyways. <laughs> uh. Yeah, definitely. Uh, give me the crit damage multiplier. No, yep, yep. And now we, uh, where is it? Like, how do we do this? Like, I guess, like, I do this, and then I do this, and then I, like, I guess I'm gonna put it in my backup because, like, why not? And then we're gonna edge this. And then we're just gonna hope that future money will be enough for us to get the funny combined crits thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eh. 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 Honestly, if I'm lucky enough, I don't even need to, uh, like, aim. I just need to toss bricks into the distance and hope that they hit. <laughs> uh, what do you have? Lightning blast, starring... Nothing too crazy. Bullet light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and doubles covenant. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's... That's good. That's a pretty interesting tiger cannon. Looks to be good, but um, I'm sorry, I have a build going already. I'm dying. That is very bad. Fake death is broken, but I'm still dying. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. We're good though. Yeah, if I actually hit the crits, then it's really strong, obviously. Oh god, oh god, please, get away from me, get away from me! Damn monkey! 
Oh god. Um. Yeah, okay. Unlucky. Dude, I hate the Angsty Desert. For some reason, just something really unfortunate always happens here. Something which, like, I don't know. I don't know. I probably, like, just lose interest. Like, it's not really that hard. I'm just getting that much worse in here, I think. Uh, to let, like, uh, unfortunate things uh, actually happen. Like this, for example. Like, I don't know. Feels like whatever happened there should have should not have happened. I think I'm getting hit by their uh, projectiles. Stop. Stop. Take my brick. Take my brick. Here, hold this. Okay. I mean, we are alive, but we sadly wasted our free, uh, our, our, like, uh, essence revive. Um, which is, like, kind of worrying. Okay. Yeah, there was a vault here somewhere, and that's, that should be about it, I guess. Yeah. We could go back to the craftsman. Dude, I am actually at 10 HP, holy shit. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, no, this is pretty good. I remember... I remember in some context, uh, actually, like, what, what was I doing? I was, like, running Lei Luo runs at some point, and I remember having to learn that pretty much everything, uh, chain lightning, uh, uh, everything like connected to chain lightning was actually detrimental to it. I don't remember what it was that I was trying to do though. I think it was just a daily run. Like a daily run where um, you can only deal damage uh, via crit hits or something. It must have been something like that. Yeah, I, I, I want to take this because it's usually pretty good. I just got like traumatized by that one daily run I assume. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is really good. Like, why would I not have taken it? Because, like, it literally takes care of all of the uh, small enemies around me. For me. Oh, God. Dude, I wish I was able to actually hit my shots, though. Nice uh, notification. Hyper rush is on sale. That's that's so interesting. I thought I'd turn notification uh, these kind of notifications off, but okay. Thank you for telling me. I guess Steam. Yeah, yeah. I know you don't have a weak spot there, but I can just hit you just like that and have a 50% chance of uh, critting you, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. No. Now with the uh, like. Cleanup ability, uh, I would say I'm somewhat chilling. Finally. Okay, what do you have? Lifesaver. I feel like, again, but like with this character, obviously we can't just re roll it. Uh, but. <laughs> yeah, like it will just get used up pretty much immediately, I think, <laughs> judging by the amount of times I'm dying. Because I'm really relying on um, on fake death at this point. Yeah, I think we can like re-roll the strike wing, uh, the strike wing a few more times. I think. Craftsman was really early though. Like damn. Um, hell yeah! All right, the rest of the money can go into upgrades now. Uh, yeah, we have fucking nine, nine point three uh, base.
upgrade the X now, and I think we're probably gonna be able to go to like uh, 12 times or something when, when we pick up the upgrades. Damn, that's gonna be good in terms of like pure crit multiplier, at least. Now we actually like need to hit the crits as well, but like. Well then, uh, have we, wait, have we done the, yeah, no, that was the, like, desert ball vault, yeah, we have done the vault, okay, yeah, on we go then. That was only the first stage, god damn. Okay, uh, how high do we get almost to, uh, 12x, okay, yeah, um, pretty solid, I would say, pretty solid, I would say. Oh, obviously he's immortal. Why wouldn't he be? Why would he not be immortal? In fact, have I ever seen a, an enemy in this game that was not immortal? gonna toss rocks from over here don't mind me hell yeah yeah I'm, I'm, I think I'm somewhat getting into it I'm still gonna die within one second uh, one second uh, if I make a really stupid mistake though but it's fine it's fine phantom peddler We do crazy amounts of damage, though. Piss off. Of, of course he's immortal. Like, I mean... I mean, I gotta say that the amounts of damage we're doing aren't that crazy. <laughs> like, considering Leilu's standards, but yes, yeah, still. Um... Yeah, no, hell yeah. Fucking enhanced skill boost is pretty much, like perfect for us like yeah that is really really good that is gonna add quite a lot of damage i feel like like that is actually crazy good uh enduring caster just basically not gonna do anything i gotta be honest Another brick. Projectiles plus one, consumption plus one. Plus one crit X for next shot and drops ammo for current weapon when defeating an enemy with crit hit. Um, plus five, uh, plus fifty percent total weapon damage against enemies in shock effect, which we do for free basically. And lucky shot chance for f uh, uh, plus forty percent. Damn. Like more lucky shot. Um, plus 50% damage, which uh, this is only against DK, but like basically doesn't do anything. Yeah, we lose the accuracy, but I don't think the accuracy and stability matter with the brick at all. Like the same as with the golden ball, I'm pretty sure. And like, yeah, uh, this is, um, this is pretty good, but yeah. I mean, yeah, this is only plus three, so actually we are even like getting an upgrade we only need to get the gemini inscription of this uh, still but like holy shit that is so much better god damn yeah uh we absolutely want that uh want that brick uh sell the old one and we have s something else yeah no nothing that's as interesting, definitely. Um, we're done here then, I guess. Let's just hope and pray for the Gemini inscription then. Gemini inscription. Uh, we don't even have money to etch it on. Well, gotta, gotta wait a bit longer then. Maybe shouldn't have sold the old brick. 
Maybe not yet. Maybe should have waited a bit longer. The lower... Uh, I'm actually really noticing a minus 10% fire rate though. But I think we will be fine. If I just like... Um, don't throw like crazy and actually like... Aim my shots somewhat purposefully. I think we should be fine. Which means we, we basically have two things which just uh, multiply our damage when we hit enemies uh, that are in shock. Which is like, <laughs> really fucking funny. The enemies are in shock. And just like that, the enemies were in remiss. They have never seen a damage multiplier such as this. So this, uh, is there like a vault here or something? I think we already had one, yeah. We we had one, yeah, do, yeah, yeah, I do remember we had one, I just didn't enter it yet. There was a, like a chest vault, I think. Um, this is pretty good, every crit has a chance to trigger chain lightning, um, which is pretty good. And like we have hella high crit X, so actually this is gonna do a lot. All three of those are really good, but actually I think this one is by far the strongest. Though this doesn't require fatal current, so this is just gonna give crazy crowd control. I think I'm gonna take this for now, actually. We want all three, technically, but yeah. Um, yeah, just give me money, sure. Why not? <laughs> now, back to the craftsman, first of all. Uh, give me the shared crit hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah Woo boy okay and now we just enhance this body this this body and that's gonna be our weapon for the rest of the run and it's gonna be really really good I feel like oh boy okay gonna do this real quick then with the advanced joggers and the movement speed ups uh, that we have this should be fairly straightforward like um why do we move so fast actually like i think we only have abnormal speed don't we or do we have something else that also enha uh, enhances movement speed because we are like at i know it, it feels like we are almost at ostrich riders levels of uh, movement speed like what crazy stuff do we have that enhances our movement speed we only really have abnormal speed, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, I guess it gives us plus 30%, but... Hmm. I don't know, it feels like we're way quicker, though. For some reason. Giant Slayer, that is uh, pretty good. That's pretty good, no retreat. Uh, Elemental Weave. Elemental Weave for the damage conversions? Like, just for that reason, having ele Elemental Weave is pretty useful. And like we could uh, pull off a, a lightning conversion. And like I gotta say, Giant Slayer is not even really that crazy with our already crazy damage. But yeah, no. No. Also, it enables us to get both Armor Breaker. Which, uh, yeah, more projectiles. Deal true damage that is equivalent. Yeah. No, that's crazy. And plus 80% normal damage. Yeah, no, Giant Slayer is going to be much crazier here. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, uh, I think we got we got traditional tactic with this. Oh, no, for armor breaker, we actually need a shotgun. Never mind then. But yeah, still still just having that. Yeah, I, th I think that's that was very much worth it. Okay, uh, deadly counter. Sure, sure. All right. That was a pretty good vault, I would say. But yeah, we actually like have a basically like we guaranteed throw two bricks at the same time and we have a 20% chance or something to um, uh, 
like I, I think what, uh, where, where was that actually Was it like in here somewhere I already forgot I already forgot but I think something gave us a plus 20 percent projectiles or something I already forgot though what it was <laughs> and I don't really care I gotta be honest because it's good so uh, I'm happy Uh, you guys can piss off. Can you like... Yeah? No? Hey, 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 hey! Okay. Uh, anything like over here? Nothing that really seems too interesting. Uh, yeah, give me the upgrades. On we go. Oh God. This is actually a, a somewhat scary position to be in, but I just need to lob my shots correctly to like hit them over there. Yeah, just like that. I didn't even really crit them I just like got the free crit uh, I think the 50% the coin toss let's do that and that works oh god that's actually oh god get me back get me back no I don't want to be over there oh god oh god when we are fucking Oh god, he, he he got fucking uh, manipulated too. Like, when we're throwing hands, or, or rather bricks, I guess, <laughs> we do be throwing bricks. Like, um, I mean, yeah, weakest Lei Luo run, what I, what, I, what I gotta say. That was a pretty good uh, aura of Venom, by the way, with fucking Fireball on crit. Um, extra surprise. Uh, I really care. Snow boots, yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's gonna come in clutch, I feel like. Like, not getting slowed down anymore. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I have fucking nightmares of this room. Uh, like, I think I got, like... I, um... Got this room once with, um, Elite Gathering. And, um, I ran out of ammo. And, uh, yeah, I legitimately had to... Uh, and I got the fucking guy uh, with the shield. And I had to run around him for, like, half an hour straight. Because I had to fight him with the foundry. I should be doing a bit better now, but, like, I actually have PTSD from this room. If only I could hit, dude... I'm gonna run circles around you the other way. Because, uh. Anyway, if you do this. Oh my god, dude. Please just fucking die. Fuck you. Moron. Okay. Goblet. Uh, yeah, we, we could get this for more damage. Um, this is also pretty good. Um, like this would be a, well, basically plus 50% increase, like procentually to what we already have with this. Like, I don't know how the multipliers interact exactly, but like, this is going to give us an easier time with small enemies. And this is just going to give us more damage. I think I want the more damage. I think that's going to be a bit more important. What is this? Reasonable luck. Um, I feel like we should probably be somehow. This is 40. Uh, 40, 70. Um, this can go up to... This can go up to 100 actually. And actually very easily will because we have like 10 HP. Um, so yeah, we definitely already are above 100. 
150, especially with bullet light too. Um, yeah, no, yeah, no, we definitely are. We definitely are above 100, at least if uh, if the Berserk Soul triggers. So, goodbye. Reasonable luck. Dude, those are really, dude, those are really good weapons we are getting here. Like, I have my build. Damn. Those are crazy good weapons. Um... And the room is over there. We have a vault here with another boss. Holy shit, that was one brick that hit a weak spot. That just went wild. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh. That's so rewarding after all that shit the game put me through. Oh my god. Um, you have... Yeah, you have like 4.5. Nah. Like, I think this one also has 5.4. This uh, one has 5.4. Yeah, no. Uh, not better than the one I currently have. Oh, that felt so good, dude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Um, flowing time, that's pretty, pretty good. Capacity overdraft. Uh, third time unlucky. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's a bit too early. I think it's a bit too early. And, like, I don't have anything to protect me from the cross scrolls. Um, wicked power is also, like, pretty good here, obviously. But, yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna go with flowing time here, I think. It's it's just safer here, I guess. Like we don't need to go with the risky, uh, risky stuff. We already have a build going. We just need the like. Uh, was there a craftsman on the stage? So I'm definitely gonna exhaust every craftsman that I can because I feel that uh, with like um, uh, Devil's Covenant, we will probably out uh, earn. The craftsman at some point so i should definitely not pass up um any upgrades because like yeah we still have like 12k and if we get a craftsman on the next stage uh we definitely get the next 6k uh, together to completely ex exhaust that one and then some uh yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, what do you got? Um, yeah, that's just good for survivability. I think I gotta take that. Alright, that guy. Fuck that guy. Uh, but at least he's not as annoying as the fucking god of shit. <laughs> oh yeah by the way i forgot that this uh we wouldn't actually wouldn't get money on this stage but like still what i said was still somewhat true uh fast loader uh, yeah no i'm never gonna use it actually improved clip uh never gonna matter because my magazine is uh the size of one like i guess an increase in movement speed uh by 25 percent until next read but yeah no I don't think it's gonna it, it's not gonna do much yeah long shot very much uh the the greed paid off <laughs> upgrade this twice and yeah. in we go damn i missed the crit spot weak spot whatever Hit. Okay. Ah, come on. 
<laughs> I didn't even crit and I did fucking holy shit. I, uh, I almost killed him in one shot there. Or like, at least dealt half his health. <laughs> uh, yeah, bloody drill. Uh, cool story, but we have a build. Um, get this. So this. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna take this, yeah. Just gonna do more damage all around. Um, what is this? Riches, privileges. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't plan on saving my money, but uh, if I ever come to save it, then that's gonna be really useful, I guess. Okay, now, four more scrolls for the enemies. Uh, Sanguine relic. Um, I guess we could build. Ethereal feline now if we wanted to um, Don't really want to though like I guess I could it would give us some more survivability I think I should and this is like yeah, no this is no I don't want to like obviously enhanced brutal gloves is pretty good, but like yeah no. uh, reinforced eggshell Gonna be really annoying for the enemies like to kill them, but yeah, no, fuck it. Uh, extravagant consumption, I don't think I want that. Do I want that? Phantom skin also just more survivability. Hmm. Phantom skin gonna be really annoying to play around though. I think Evil Devouring Sword, probably. Yeah, if we ever get, like, Evil Vanishing Talisman. Extravagant, uh, extravagant Consumption is interesting, but it clashes with our rich, uh, richest privileges, and we definitely want to use the money anyways. Well, I mean, I guess the money gets spent either way, right? And we will probably get enough money to um, still get all of the upgrades. Probably. <sighs> ah, fuck it. I'm gonna take it. I can't say no to it. Uh, flesh and bones. Nope. <laughs> uh, proportion device, though. Sure. I'm gonna take this for ethereal, ethereal feline. And take all of these. Okay. Um, endless assault is pretty okay. Uh, ultimate gambler. Hmm, maybe. Uh, one extra peculiar chest I react. That's also pretty interesting. But I think I'm gonna go for the gambler here. For the ultimate gambler. And I'm just gonna like probably drop that one um, next stage then. Depending on what uh, the guy has. Yeah, yeah. You know what I would like to have? Airbag. Um, like if you guys don't know, air uh, airbag, what airbag does is that it's... Dude, holy shit, they're fucking just dying and I'm not... I'm, I'm not even like actually attacking them, they're just dying to the chain lightning that's get, uh, that gets autocasted. Um, yeah, uh, airbag basically does um, that it um, automatically uh, reduces my HP over time, so that basically uh, at some point I'm just like at 1 HP permanently. Not max HP, but like just current HP. Uh, and when my shield gets broken, it instantly uh, completely heals me. Um, which basically, in this context, um, it would um, make it so that I'm at 1 HP the entire time. So basically the Berserk Soul would be permanently active. Which uh, would be really good. Uh, random normal inscription. I don't think I want to drop the normal inscription. Yeah, no, those are really good. <laughs> I could... I could... Um, like... I know, like, I could re-roll this with this... This would reroll the Gemini inscription as well, I think. 
So I actually don't want to do that, I think. Because, like, I could still get the plus 0.4 crit, uh, crit X on this as well. Um, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Did I get it? I got it, hell yeah. I just need to uh, get the Gemini inscription again. But I think that may have been worth it. <laughs> Fucking greed, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna die for that now. Okay, please, please, please. Um, hell yeah! Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe that greed paid off, dude. Fucking 12.7. I mean, I, okay, it, it is upgraded currently. We we do have the... We do have the... Um, like, uh, a star thing currently. But yeah, dude, that's... That's so crazy, dude. Holy shit. That's so funny. That's hilarious, even. Sadly, the upgrades don't stack, right? Because that would be even funnier then, I would think. Like, if the upgrades, uh, the, the, like, shooting star things, I, I don't remember how they are called. Like, how are they called? Starlight. Just, okay. Um, if they actually stack, that would be really funny. Oh, you fucker. You are getting fucked. You are getting fucked today, dude. Stop, stop moving. You are gonna get fucked, buddy. You're not the right one. Are you the right one? Come on, drop another drop another timer thing. You're gonna die. You know you're gonna die. Where you at, buddy? <laughs> Revenge. Dude, fucking hell, dude. So deserved. Uh, unfettered will? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I have the fucking uh, extravagant consumption, sadly. But I mean, I get the special offer and the uh, lucky copper synergies, so like... Still really gonna pay off, like I'm gonna get a lot of fucking money. Energy Sandal is also pretty good here. I can dash quite a lot. Also, I didn't actually get both syner uh, synergies, I think. Special offer? No, I did get both. I did get both. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you, but like this is a really funny looking fucking money run, dude. Really, really funny looking um, synergies uh, interface. Right then, uh, I mean, yeah, that was the beginning of the stage still. Uh, what does the rest of the stage have to offer? Maybe the death of uh, multiple smaller enemies? There's a phantom headler that is really fun. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I fucking love the brick, dude. Oh, that's not an enemy still. Where's the last enemy? Oh, there. Good morning. <clears throat> What do you have? Um, yeah, the more bounce is probably useful here, but I'm just gonna take this because way more damage, way more fun. Critical hell sounds fun, sure. Um, enhanced on the house. Sure, sure, why not? Why not? Um, anything interesting? Yeah, okay. Didn't I have the normal on the house as well? Didn't I have normal on the house? 
Or am I tripping? Because, like, uh, when you pick up an, an enhanced version of a scroll, it's, like, supposed to uh, drop the base version if you have it, right? Did I not have it? Am I tripping? Huh. Uh, we're definitely gonna go back to the craftsman, though. Get a few more... Get a few more from that guy. A few more upgrades. Hell yeah. Doing pretty good, I would say. Pretty okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> stage two. <laughs> that was stage one. Oh, uh, right. It's so fucking funny that, like, you just toss a literal brick into the distance. Like, it's just not even just something similar to a brick. Like, you just toss a literal brick into the distance and it fucking hits someone in the head. In the, in the head. And just uh, everything around them gets absolutely vaporized. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point that I've found a new favorite weapon. <laughs> I fucking love the brick, holy shit. Like, why are my favorite weapons? Because, like, um, obviously the brick is gonna um, replace the golden bow and my favorite weapons now, which I still really enjoy the golden bow, obviously. But, um, yeah, the brick is just, like, better in every way. Um, I would say, I, th I think. Maybe the charging of the bow actually does something to the, uh, to the brick that I don't really know of how it uh, exactly works. Um, yeah, sure, just take it. Why not? Um, like maybe there's something that the charging of the bow does that actually makes them quite comparable uh, um, in reality or something. But I would say that the brick is just better than the bow in every way. Um, anyways, uh, and then obviously I like uh, the talisman a lot. Because the talisman is literally just like, you don't need to aim anymore. Um, you just spam right click and win. That is that is talisman gaming. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, the thing I find interesting is that my two favorite weapons then now, with talisman and brick, are two just very regular objects. <laughs> like, not really weapons. <laughs> They also don't really have intricate designs or anything. Oh, hell yeah, Ostrich Runner. Um, they also don't really have intricate designs or anything. Uh, they are literally just basically normal objects that are somehow weaponized in this game. There's a vault there. Um, and I think that's incredibly hilarious. How did I miss the, that crit spot? Where's the boss, huh? Where's the boss? Take me to your leader. Bro really tossed a chain at me and got bricked in the face. Can I please hit? It would be quite fun, I think. Oh, you are the boss. You were the boss. I, I thought the lobsters were the boss somehow. But yeah, then I was wondering why were there multiple? Yeah, no. Uh, I think it was a catfish warrior. Anyways, ah, uh, this is just never gonna do anything. Cool. Um, lucky brick. Yeah. I mean, ah, oh, god damn it! It actually has the most of the actually like it doesn't have the projectiles plus one though. Um. And it doesn't have this one, which basically makes it so that we don't need ammo anymore. I don't need to worry about it. It has the accuracy, which I think doesn't really do anything. Mm. And it has these two, but it doesn't have the lucky shot chance. But I think the 
uh, projectiles plus one offsets the lucky shot chance. And also, like, we are at plus 14 on this break. At this point, we should not switch anymore. Nice try, though, game. Nice try. I, I appreciate the effort. And I could probably have taken it with me and given it to uh, some guy. Because, like, am I not supposed to be able to hand my weapons off somewhere here or something? Like, in the... Yeah, in the vault uh, in... Um, uh, stage 3 or 4. Or, like, does it have to be a specific vault? Because, um, obviously, in the patch notes it said uh, beating the vault. Uh, enables you to like uh, transfer the weapons and shit. Um, but the, the thing is that uh, vaults in general uh, are always addressed as the vault by the game, uh, as if there's only one. So like that doesn't really tell me anything. Uh, Thorny Carapace is, yeah, it's gonna be pretty funny, I guess. Now I would actually like, uh, since I have uh, the snow boots, right, I actually would like Corrosion Enthusiast, I think. Could be pretty, could be pretty good. Hi, Logi. Welcome to... Uh me throwing bricks at random people and them and them just getting eviscerated literally disappearing right on the spot welcome to welcome to that <laughs> whatever you want to call that i wish i w was able to actually hit my bricks though oh yeah and also um just saying that uh me hitting those bricks from a distance, like, it doesn't only um, eviscerate the person that I somehow hit, it also um, vaporizes everyone around them. Because I shoot out a shit ton of uh, chain lightning. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, like, it's literally, like, not even kidding, it's literally my new favorite weapon. Like, it is so incredibly funny. And it does everything, like, pretty much, I consider go uh, I consider Brick to just be a better Golden Bow. And Golden Bow was uh, pretty much my favorite weapon together with Talisman before this. And, like, Brick is just better in every way. And it is fucking hilarious, too. Like, just, like, even just aesthetically, it's a crazy fucking weapon. It's so fucking hilarious. Just tossing Bricks from a distance and... Uh, just fucking vaporizing enemies with them. Um, but it also is actually a really good weapon, is the thing. Like, it actually, like, boasts uh, one of the highest crit multipliers. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna get this to, pass, uh, to level 3 then, yeah, sure. <laughs> Like, I don't know yet if I'm gonna make a uh, highlight video of this, but I probably should, like, just for, like, quantity reasons and whatever. Um, I could fucking, um, because, like, I'm thinking that uh, the, the the thumbnail, since, like, the last, um, uh, the last uh, highlight video was, like, uh, becoming a category 4 hurricane in Spiritfall, right? And this one could then be a... Uh, Becoming the brick in uh, Gunfire Reborn, and then the thumbnail is just gonna be a fucking off brand The Rock. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, good night. Good night. And uh, thanks, uh, thanks for uh, checking in, I, gu I guess. Wes, uh, you're just the last enemy. <laughs> fucking hell, dude. <laughs> oh, God. It's actually just sprinting towards the enemy and just fucking flailing bricks at them. It's like... I'm just a broken record at this point, but it's it will not... Never not be uh, hilarious. Like, it's actually fucking <laughs> peak comedy. Uh, Preemptive strike? That's just free 50% damage. Yeah, sure. I mean, I wanted, like, a, a corrosion enthusiast and, like... There's some shit that I want, but like, yeah, brain to strike. That's just 
free <laughs> free 50% damage. Oh, I don't have money. I don't have money. Ah, ga, 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 ga. Elite gathering. I mean, sure, I do have. Do I have elite? Yeah, I do have elite assassin. Oh, hi. Literally, he literally spawned and said goodbye. Goodbye. See, uh, this is what I mean by uh, okay damage, by the way. This is this is what I meant when I was saying like earlier that we had low damage, even though we had pretty okay damage in reality. But like, if you don't one-shot enemies with this character, what, what are you even doing? Like, what are you even doing if you're not one-shotting everything with this guy? <laughs> Lucky starring, pretty, pretty cool. Crimson fire scale, yeah, sure. Sure thing, buddy. Uh, what do you have here? Explosive magazine. Reloading gears current weapon damage to enemies within 8 meter radius. I don't reload, though. Is the thing. But I'm gonna pick it up anyways. Um, yeah. This is gonna be even better protection, I think. That's gonna be pretty useful. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take it. Just for survival reasons. We already have Ethereal Feline. This is just gonna add another layer on top of it. Pretty good. Does uh, Elitis hasn't have like a max stack amount? I don't think it has. Yeah, no. It, it really, literally doesn't. The... Um, the one spiritual blessing. That one does have a, uh, have a cap at like 15, I think. Um, but Elitis hasn't? No. Um, crit hit will make the enemy take... Plus 10% total crit damage if open spirit is no less than four times, plus 20% uh, total crit damage instead. Um, yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, no, more damage. I got, I gotta go for the damage, sorry. I gotta go for the damage. Like, the protection is good and all, but I think we have enough layers of protection at this point. Like, we are at like 10 condoms at this, uh, at this point. Yeah, yeah. And if I like... It, it is so fun. Like, obviously it's kind of like, um... Weird. If I... Where's the guy? Oh, there. No, that's not the guy. That's the guy. Um, obviously, it's kind of weird when I um, miss my rocks, but if I just effortlessly hit them <laughs> right away, it looks so cool. Midder strike, sure. I know, I'm actually uh, like throwing a lot from the... Oh, that's the guy! Hi, Arsenal Guard. Has he always been here or have I like have I just like missed him or does it have to be this specific one? Do I have anything? Yeah, I mean, I guess I can give him the bloody drill. Uh, here, take my bloody drill. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Why is there a fast deposit and withdraw? If that's, like, it feels like that's the only way to do it? Anyways, um, you can take the bloody drill. Give them to a future, uh, reborn gunfire guy, uh, if he ever meets you again, I guess. Don't really care for it, though. I wonder if the, um... I really wonder if the weapons you give to him stay with him indefinitely or if you um or if you uh uh if it if they only stay with him for the next run. But I think they should probably stay with him indefinitely. Which is like pretty cool, I guess. Like now I could like start metagaming this shit and like instead of winning runs, I should just, I could, I can just like collect my favorite weapons uh, with them. <laughs> if I want to and just like have a collection uh, and not caring for uh, actually beating runs anymore. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, uh, I think, yeah, that was the last stage. Now we have the boss and then the last, uh, last, uh, I, th I think they call it a scene or something is what they said. Uh, flowing wind, that's pretty good. Blessing in disguise, ascension options are uh, fixed at two. You have three, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to try that out, how that works. I definitely want to try that out. Uh, anything cool you have, elemental relic. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, no, I I won't be able to upgrade anyways because of uh, extravagant uh, of um, extravagant extravagant consumption. So I might take this. No, it's just not that crazy. We're mostly like we aren't all. We also aren't really doing elemental damage. We mostly are doing skill and weapon damage. It's just that the enemies being in shop gives us like plus 300 percent damage multiplier or something yeah no, no, it's fine it's fine we are we're good i wish i could buy one upgrade but i don't guess we we are allowed to yeah yeah just throw bricks at the cannons there's the guy there he is we're also immune to slow, so there's not really uh, much this guy can do. Okay, he does not get one shot by our, by our um, shots. That is quite disappointing. Come on. But yeah, we, we also have immunity to slow, so not really much this guy can do against us. We actually just skipped the last phase, I think. Like, I think he's supposed to have, like, yeah, I mean, look at that. I, th I think he's supposed to have one more phase where he, um, where he, like, uh, gets another wall of water and you have to load the cannon to get it down. That is actually the first time that I've seen him getting destroyed that much. That you just straight up, straight up skip the last phase. I, th I think that's actually the first time that I've seen that. <laughs> um, overwhelming shield. Um, yeah, sure. Sure, why not? Uh, fierce glimmering. What do you have? Yeah, I can just get both. Oh, I can just choose to get both. I can save those if I want to. That's really cool. That's really cool. Um, I think I'm just gonna take this though. Cause like I don't really need this. Yeah, I can just I can just take this now. I can also reroll, I guess. Um, I mean, how much? How many more goblets am I gonna get? I'm only gonna get like three more, I think. I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just gonna take this. And then power game the last uh, remaining ones, I guess. Okay, final stage. Hell yeah! Oh, that's that's a really cool. That's a really cool artwork. Um, that's just the normal spirit feline. Um, don't really want to give that to the enemies. Uh, deflection shield. No, that will literally gimp me. Cause like, no, I think the enemy effect it literally um only affects me. Like, I take less damage from enemies over 50 meters away. I think the wording works like that. And, like, um... I mean, I would want to take the normal deflection shield as well, I guess. Because, like, I want to stay away from enemies. But Lone Ranger, though. But Lone Ranger, though. I'm gonna take Lone Ranger, sorry. Um... Lightning Shard? Sure. Uh... Maybe I don't know. Yeah, come on, fuck it. Uh, hidden transaction. Uh, after being damaged, the player that play against uh, two stacks of effect for ten seconds. Trigger max once per uh, per second minus one weapon level when the player holding 
that the player holding for each effect. It's only temporary weapon level down though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also fucking Top Gun, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, no, I'm gonna take this. I feel like it's gonna be really good. And uh, Silver Metal, uh, gonna be really good as well. Yeah, I think, I think these are all gonna be really good for me. Like this should, should that not activate the thing? Does it not? Damn, I think I got scammed. Top Gun, yeah, yeah, no, I need a rifle for that. Damn, I got scammed. Hidden Transaction in and you know, of itself is, is still really crazy though, obviously. All right, now I guess you can... Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, Occult Booster, it's a bit late for that. Uh, Painkiller is really funny though. I, I think I want to uh, replace the Ultimate Gamble at this point, definitely. Um, probably. Uh, Occult Booster is pretty good. This late in the run, though, like, Occult Booster is really good um, very early on. Um, yeah, no, I'm just gonna take Painkiller just because it's really funny and replace Ultimate Gambler. Alright. Off we go, then. Off we go, then. Only I was actually able to hit shit. Yeah, give me, give me the starlight. Yeah, yeah. That's a. <laughs> I always throw uh, stuff at the pedal, dude. Uh, Thunderstep. Pretty good, dude. Elemental torrent. Yeah. N no, that's really good though. Uh, Thunderstep. I don't really need that, honestly. I have way stronger versions of that, like three times in my like skill set. Like, I have three things that basically do the same thing, uh, but the entire time without me even needing to dash. And since I have Ostrich Rider, um, like, I do have a uh, propulsion device and shit, so I can actually dash quite a lot, but, like, still. Also, I think that the final boss, like, one of the modifiers that the final boss can have is um, that, uh, like, you take damage when you dash. So, yeah. I probably don't even want to dash in the first place, so, yeah. What do you have? Uh, luxurious gift box, probably. Strongest yet. Yeah, no, I don't want those anymore. Give me the luxurious gift box. Mm, Windrider, yeah, sure. After t yeah, cool dash build, thank you. I was just talking about how I didn't really want that. You're still there. Please, uh, please go. I, I would not like to be within your company. Yes, 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 yes. I think that's everything in this little area. I, I think. I'm really, really paranoid that I'm just gonna miss some peddler or something that's somewhere around the corner. Like obviously we've already met the peddler. Um, but yeah. You know what I mean. Like a phantom peddler would still be very, very pogus. Yeah, yeah. Ho -ho! Oh god damn, <laughs> something happened. Uh, <laughs> I think just the spawning of the guy uh, made my frames drop like crazy. 
Um, we're good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got more money now as well, so we can buy more upgrades. Hell yeah. Now, I'm really curious. Is the... Is the... Oh, there's a vault here as well. Is the scroll gonna give me two choices with these goblets as well? That is what I'm wondering. It does. Hell yeah. And I can also take both. That's really good. That is really good. And like basically um, a reroll in and of itself at this point. So I'm, I don't really mind getting rid of the reroll. Um, though I would have liked to reroll those two actually. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna take both, I think. Just so that they are out of the pool, kind of something. I'm not gonna get many more uh, goblets as the, uh, goblets at this point, so might as well just use my uh, take both. Um, I take take both coupons. Dude, literally, fucking! Oh my god! Every enemy being basically the immortal uh, modifier. Again, who, who thought that was fun? Like, there's some guy who just thought he, uh, thought he was hilarious when he uh, fucking uh, proposed that. Damn, not one shot? How oh, sad. Uh, I don't want to interact with the uh, stalker's mechanics, I gotta be honest. So I'm just gonna like throw bricks and hope I get lucky. I think I got the right one. I think I did. He's just like uh, he just got uh, by uh, got saved by the delay. I oh, know that was kind of confusing. Anyways, I'm moving so fast though. I'm moving at incredible speeds. <sighs> Literally, Lilith Waterlands. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paranormality now? That sounds pretty fun. Overflowing waters, like, I didn't really understand this. Consume all the secondary skill count. Consume all when secondary skill count reaches the upper limit. Yeah, that's, that sounds so weird. Uh, and 10% weapon damage for each charge consumed. Like, I don't know. Could be fun. Ancient timer also pretty good. Pretty good. Um, but yeah, no, that's fucking paranormality, dude. As if the game is gonna offer me paranormality and I'm not gonna take it. Like, I guess that paranormality... I don't know how paranormality actually interacts with Berserk Soul. I think that, um, it actually, like, um, gimps it, kinda. But then again, I have been doing so good uh, that uh, I've been pretty much uh, full health the entire time anyways. Like, I didn't really get to a point where I had less than full HP most of the time. Uh, yeah, Berserk's... Like, not that I'm complaining about that, obviously, but yeah, uh, I'm saying that Berserk's all didn't really do much most of the time anyways, so... Um, if it didn't... Uh, if it... Uh, gets gimped by paranormality then it definitely already got gimped uh, before so um not much is lost i would say which is obviously sad because like we upgraded berserk soul ourselves uh in the longing tomb right but yeah what can you do what can you do Oh damn! I almost miss. Uh, I, I I almost hit that. <laughs> Dude, hi hitting the uh, brick from like uh, ten fucking kilometers away is like it is never gonna not be hilarious though. Like again, I'm just a broken record at this point. I fucking love the brick. Holy shit! Um, yeah, just an upgrade. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 
Upgrade sounds good. Upgrade sounds good. Oh, you were <laughs> you were still alive. <laughs> Riposo. Bro fucking wanted where all his friends were was like missing like two of his uh one legs. <laughs> um yeah, and then just fucking suddenly the fucking the brick thrower uh comes around the corner and just within a quarter of a second uh everything fades to black. Like, bro spent like two minutes wondering where all his friend, uh, friends went, and then suddenly. Can I please uh, kill the penguin? And you? Ah, oh, damn, I don't want to play this uh, guy's games. I, don't, uh, I just want to kill him. One of them is dead. There's a, a vault over there. Can I please hit the vault? Thank you. Can I please like hit the guy, please? Okay, that is actually the wrong one. Okay, which one is the right one? Tell me then. I think the one to the right was the right one, but something damaged him. Because like, uh, there's multiple ways uh, to tell them apart. One of them is that the right one, um, that the right one uh, shoots in bursts of three, then instead of just one shot. But I gotta be honest, I don't really want to interact with that. A brick. Huh. Projectiles plus one, consumption plus one, uh, return ammo to the magazine on miss. Uh, it has a crit X up, which is like funny, uh, but it is against DK. No, our brick is just way stronger. And also like plus 21 or something at this point. Um, so yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna trade it away at this point. I am incredibly sorry, but uh, that seems quite stupid. Yeah, yeah, good one of the funny um, double upgrades as well. What do you have? Deflection shield. Didn't I already have that? Didn't I give that to the enemies and... Or what, what did I pick up instead of deflection shield then? Uh... Like, I guess Hidden Transaction. Oh no, I think Lone Ranger. Yeah, I think I picked up Lone Ranger instead of Defection Shield. Well, yeah. Got it after all, so yeah, I don't, I don't fucking mind. Uh, Chain Lightning Damage and this. Um, I am gonna wait, actually, until I... Uh, uh, have seen every one of the goblins, uh, goblets. There's one more, gonna be one more in the thing. Yeah, no, I, I just wanna bo uh, want both here. That is way, way better. Hell yeah. And then there's gonna be one more in this, um... Hmm... I mean, this, this looks kind of fun, but no. Um, and there's, then there's gonna be one more in this vault. Watch. Every uh, one transforms into Arctic Walrus, dude. I wish. Why? Why can't I live in this reality? Why can't I just become an Arctic, uh, Arctic Walrus and uh, after I die? Well, who's to say I can't, right? Like, uh, I just need to believe in reincarnation, and then it uh, just works or something. But I think that um, part of the belief of reincarnation is that you don't really get to choose what you get reincarnated as. Um, and like, it depends on your karma, right? So, um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna become an arctic walrus after I die. 
actually no goblet? That seems pretty sad. I mean, refresh I think sure. And this guy's here again. Uh, I don't have anything for you. I'm sorry. Uh, anything over here? I don't... Yeah, I mean, I picked up like 20 bucks. <laughs> Not gonna say no to that, obviously, but yeah. Um, okay, yeah, sure. Um, I'm not gonna spend my double take on this one though. Do I still apparently have two still? Didn't I already spend two? I'm just gonna take it, take both here then. Like I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, yeah, we're, we're at the final boss anyways though, so literally no reason not to use it here. I'm just confused. All right, what do you have? Uh, corrosion enthusiasts right before the end. Normal ammo, that's not gonna do anything. Um, also, don't I have enhanced normal ammo? No, that was a different run as well. Like, <laughs> uh, corrosion enthusiasts, yeah, no, that, it, it is, would be cool. Uh, but yeah, no, it wouldn't do anything. Uh, tactical reload. I don't reload. Okay, sure. Nothing interesting then. Uh, can I maybe sell something in order to get one more upgrade? Like, what would I want to sell? Uh, I'm gonna sell this, I think. Because, like, obviously I literally can't use it because I don't reload. And now I can get another upgrade on this. And I even got the double upgrade, hell yeah. Am I gonna... Mm, am I gonna sell more stuff? What could I get rid of? Like, Intimidating Presence is not gonna do anything on the final boss. Um, <laughs> um, mm, mm, hidden treasure is technically not going to do much anymore, but I, I, I like hidden treasure. I'm not going to get rid of it now. It's been too, too kind to me. I also wonder how persistent works with uh, paranormality actually. Um, I can get rid of this one now because I already used all the refreshes there. Let's see how, mu how much money we get from this. It's like we need, uh, yeah, we need 400 more. We can, we can get 400, I'm sure. Sure. Surely we can get uh, 400 more. Um, <laughs> fucking just selling merciless combo <laughs> would be try to be hilarious. I, know, I don't want to actually sell the actually good stuff just for greed purposes. I could technically sell the um, Devil's Covenant if I wanted to, but nah, it, it's it's been too kind to me. I'm gonna sell the energy sandals. Fuck them. Didn't even give me a lot of them, uh, a lot of money, but yeah. Fuck the energy sandals. <laughs> I won't dash anyways. Uh, yeah, brief respite. I just don't use that and the brutal valves as well. That should... Okay, I know. Uh, the brief respite gave us a lot for some reason. I'm actually gonna take this back then, I guess. Okay, sure. Okay, brick plus 30. I mean... Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna make a screenshot here. And like, again, uh, when we pick up an upgrade, it's gonna be even crazier. Um... Should I take a break in the final boss just to do a screenshot of this? Nah, I'm j I'm just gonna play the final boss out uh, in one go for for video purposes. Let's go then. So far, nothing too crazy. <laughs> yeah, nothing too crazy, all right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Obviously, I have one shot at that guy a lot, but uh, not that much. Uh, will we be able to? Yeah, no, I don't think, yeah, no. 
sadly uh, he didn't drop a little uh, a funny starlight for us <laughs> holy shit oh yeah and we could give this guy our weapon now true you get access to him uh, after the polar monarch i guess we can just give him a brick then sure why don't we do that we won't have it in, uh, won't have it in our summary then but like who the fuck cares right if we just get a broken ass fucking weapon in in our uh, stash Sure, buddy. Uh, here you go. Get the broken as fucking weapons. <laughs> oh god, that was a fun run. Hell yeah, we have a foundry plus zero again. How did we beat the run with this? That's so crazy. <laughs> uh, oh damn, just shy of 10, uh, 10 million max damage. Oh, and we actually do get the weapons in this uh, summary. That's really, really good. Gonna take a quick screenshot here. We actually do get uh, do get the weapons in the summary. Also, how did we actually? Okay, we get we got a lot of soul lenses, but but we apparently spent so much that we actually went minus on this run. <laughs> I don't mind, but like, yeah, actually pretty good hit rate, pretty good total damage. Uh, there's all of the occult scrolls, I guess, excluding the ones that I sold at the end. Elites killed sixteen. Pretty good run, I would say. Pretty solid run. And yeah, um, with that. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, is that is uh, uh, is the Arsenal actually based on character? Like, if I switch character now. Uh, I mean, that's good, obviously, because I still like. I would obviously mostly want these uh, weapons with the. Okay, no, they are they are per player. Okay, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I fucking told you that uh, that the brick was gonna be really good with Leilu. I'm like really, really happy that I still did a run with this. Like, obviously, there's uh, still quite a few things uh, that I wasn't able to uh, show off yet. For example, like the whole less fucking character, and I also didn't really play the owl all that much. But I was able to show off the brick, so um, who really is a winner here? Like, I don't know, I fucking love the brick. <laughs> like, that was actually awesome. Um, I don't know, I forgot the I forgot the obligatory uh, say hi YouTube uh, when I was fighting the final boss, but like, he was dead within like five seconds anyways, like even less. And I thought anyone uh, is even here would, who would want to say hi YouTube, but yeah, uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, cool fucking final run awesome um there's still a, a few things that i would still want to show off obviously like uh, again uh i barely showed off this character and i didn't show off this character at all um but yeah i think i didn't really show off uh, the two uh, characters back then when i first did the uh, when they did the other dlc either so yeah i don't think it matters really really uh, all that much um, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna do some more runs in the future anyways I'm sure like uh, I'm I am gonna stream gunfire reborn again definitely question is only when like at the latest when the next DLC releases I suppose um, but like uh, I don't know I will probably like play this a bunch uh, off stream with Milo um, and then I'm gonna like do a few runs at some point on stream or something like I, I just love this game So obviously I want to play it more like literally I gotta say like I never Counted as such but like literally among uh, Isaac Deep Rock uh, Risk of Rain 2 It's literally one of my favorite games uh, That I own at least and shit like It's just so much fun. So I definitely like gotta try and work it into my um, like regular uh, regular schedule if I ever get one, I guess. But yeah, for now, um, I am gonna play the game again, but uh, it's pretty fucking late, so I really gotta <laughs> end stream for now. I think. <laughs> um, was very fun though. Uh, I hope I will be able to show off the rest of the stuff uh, some at some point in the future. But, um, yeah, no, for now, high time to end. And, uh, yeah, I, like, I, I don't know when I will play it the n next time, but, like, uh, in the near future, we obviously still have to take a look at the 
Splatoon update that came out today and then just play more Zelda until we're through. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a solution surely. Uh, anyways, for now though, uh, thank you guys for being here. Uh, I fucking love Gunfire Reborn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope I was able to entertain you. And um, yeah, no, I really have nothing more to say. We are gonna see each other again. Uh, maybe tomorrow, like. Probably, maybe I could very, very well make it work if I wanted to. So I'm gonna maybe try to. Um, so yeah, we'll maybe see each other again tomorrow, most likely with uh, Splatoon, so that we have that behind us as well. And then after that, with more Zelda, obviously. Just take a look at the uh, at the Discord server as usual. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys posted there. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Um, as always. It's been an honor to have stream for you. And yeah, we're going to see each other again tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Have a good night and a great dream. And yeah, see you soon. Have a good one. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>